Hey, hey, how's everyone going? Welcome to the stream, and I hope you're having a lovely day over here in, uh, <laughs> make it sound like a fucking radio host. Hey guys, you're listening to Hit 345, and you're listening to Smooth Jazz while you're having sex in the car. Enjoy. <laughs> Welcome in, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you're ready for the final, uh, the final of the Endwalker. The end to the Endwalker, as it is. We, um, we're hoping to push all the way to, uh, hopefully Endwalker, uh, like the final. I'm hoping by the end of the stream, but, um, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the game and uh, let's um, finish this. Okay. 
I am here, and here is not where I need to be, but this is where lucky bunnies are. So this is why we... <laughs> this is why we... Oh, there's lots of people down here, what the hell? Is that... Okay, I gotta look. Oh, that is a 90. Wait, it's just a fending set, so it's not a, um... It's not an AF set, so that's the level 90 tombstone set. Got it. Alright. Alright. I do like that. Ah, uh, there, wait, there's the, um, there's the AF paladin set. And a guy that looks exactly like the Warrior of Light from the trailers. Um, okay. Oh, and that is, that's that same set. I do like it, it's nice, it's pretty, it makes me think of paladin when I see it. So it's gonna be weird. Uh, we have... Two bunnies, and I think I'm gonna choose the armored one. There's no thighs in there, but hey, look, it is what it is. Okay, let's go. Let's finish this. Uh, right now, I think I've got to do the mother crystal, the motherfucker. Okay. In that case, let's uh let's um get a like a raid. Let's get a full party together, then. or uh whatnot. So if you guys are up for the mother crystal, time to invite. Who's up for it? Who's down? Who's ready? Uh, thanks, Reds. I hope you take care as well. I'm always hydrated. I don't think people understand. I'm always fucking hydrated. Always fucking hydrated. Um, okay. You jump in, you jump in. Alright, get the fuck on. Get the fuck. <laughs> oh, jeez. Al on the moon. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Okay. So. So. We got LCs. We got... Has a, we got redfish. So far, we've got four people. We're waiting for Cardon to get on. Um. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to have problems here, Hold on. You see. We're gonna have problems here. Okay. We're gonna have problems here, Cardon. Okay, um... Is there anyone else? I know Eve is online. And I know Velvet is online. I don't think Eve has... Wait, what have we got so far? What have we got so far? Uh, two tanks, one healer, two DPS. Okay, so we, we don't need tanks. We need DPS and one healer. Surprising. Surprising.
Um, what was your name beforehand? I forgot. It was something that was just randomized, right? Oh, bunny thighs. Dirt. There we go. Anyway. Um. So. I guess we could just uh, fill. Uh, exactly thighs. Look this thighs. Um. Okay. Enough. We've had all the all the lucky buns that we can take with us. Um. Our oh, Eve's in a. a, a not a fate. A um instance. Velvet is probably busy doing the um. The new raids. I guess we could fill it with just randoms now. It shouldn't be too hard for us to find a, a match anyway. Like, um... Ugh. Yuck. Um, like, it's... We've got two tanks, which is the main, the main issue that's sort of kind of around here. Um, so many people here. This must be where the um, the trade is going to be. It seems that way. Why don't people play Dark Knight? Isn't it shit? Isn't it shit? <laughs> Play Warrior, play Paladin, play... I don't know about Gunbreaker. Play Gunbreaker, though. This makes more sense. Um, okay. No, that's not what I need to do. Mother Crystal. Oh, I expected that to be a bit quicker. Dark Knight is blue DPS now? Really? I don't even think it's really considered blue DPS. As far as I'm aware of, like, every tank um, is pretty DPS too. Every tank's pretty DPS too. I don't know what they change about Dark Knight that makes it real DPS you. Like they literally um let's see. That's garbage. Um Guess that's all right. They wait. So hang on. They literally got two AOE abilities. They literally got two AOE abilities, and they um reduce recast time of plunge to five seconds when executing unmend. Increase the potency of attacks dealt by your simulacrum. Upgrades Flutter Shadows executed by your... So, Dark Knight got fucking nothing. The most unsatisfying class, still, to this day. This cute bun. Dirt. The heart doesn't even know where to fucking go. It just kind of like gave up. Um. You know, I wonder no one's. I don't know why people want to play fucking Dark Knight. It really is very tragic. It's so tragic. Why? Have, 
Why did we have a Q before and a uh, Q pop and no. Like, maybe it was a healer that said no. The least flashy, but overall potencies are higher. What do you mean? Warrior is not that flashy. But it, it's, it's overall, like, utility wise, this fucking blood wedding is amazing. That's amazing. Um, I, I mean, Origini is amazing too for an, basically an AoE upheaval. Um, and then you've got, I guess they all did get an, M an MMO. They all did get a, like, two AoEs, didn't they? Well, except Paladin, who got like 800 of them. I think it's too early to say that card on the till we actually go on raids. Because you can't go Dungeon XP and um, Trial DX. Oh, that's another thing, actually. They raise the XP from dungeons. I felt like I was getting close to a level per time anyway. Alright. Let's spank Heidel and Mummy. She's been needing this fucking slap around for a while. Alright, Red, if you're if you're tanking, fuck off then. Off you go. Have you the strength of will to alter man's fate? Uh, I don't. A change of arms. May the test continue. What's she changed here? Oh, dancer. That's why you almost dead. I don't know what this means. Dude, they literally did. Like, why does this remind me of One Wing Angel turn into like Final Fantasy XIV version? Not that I'm complaining. I'm fucking loving it. Hey, how you going? Why are you so far away? I'm. I don't understand. Ah. Uh, honestly, I'm not even seeing the fucking moves. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, I, I like I'm literally not seeing the like I saw the icon but I, uh oh well. And the fact that everyone's running out Okay. Here. The song of creation's end. 
Uh, sorry, I can heal myself. That I can't heal. Uh, Mithril, thank you for the host as well, by the way. Shame you weren't here a moment earlier because uh, we could have used uh, you. Yeah. You know, fuck this. I can, I can take this. I'm a. And now. Uh, I'm gonna get ready to use Shake It Off because it's got a heal on it. Then you are resolved. Only all the healers can heal it. On mantle. Okay, this is where she chooses like a class, and I think that means get it. Oh, Kaz is dead. They're all dead. Wow. All right, let's uh, let's do this, Red. Do you reckon we? Alright, let's see how far the tanks can take us. Uh, I don't know how well this is gonna happen. Oh, for shit. I don't know what this means. Oops. I got gotcha. you. Can we actually like pull this off? Because it'll be fucking hilarious. I know they're gonna get us set because they're sitting on the ground. Oh shit. Uh, Red, I don't have a heal for you right now. Uh, over here. Oh, I'm down. I probably should have, um... Well, probably should have used uh, home gang. I keep forgetting home gang's a thing. I didn't realize that was a multi-hit. 
Otherwise, I would have popped um, a bunch of other things. Go for your life. Have you the strength of will to alter man's fate? A change of arms. May the test continue. Hey, Kage, how you going? Thank you for the host as well. How are you going today? You're going to be joining us for Phasma on Friday? Thursday? Friday? Thursday? Whatever day it's going to be. All oh, right. Oh, how the fuck that hit me? Okay. If you say so. Take it off. Ow, my fucking health bar. Holy shit. I don't know why I ran so far out. Fair enough. I look forward to trying out the new changes in the game. Um. I'll just put that on you. And, and just absolutely like made it harder again. Um, I don't, I'll be honest, I'm not sure. I know they made it easier to get like ghost things like photos and stuff like that but at the cost of like possibly dying like it's a risk reward system what is she using this time I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. Oh. Fuck for oh, you guys are so low on health. Find your way in the darkness. Hey, Flank, how you been? Yeah, so I'm, I'm keen to check out the change of it. It's been a while. It's really been a while since we ain't touched Phasma. I say that, but it hasn't been too long. I was expecting someone to die again there. So if I pump out that one, that one, that one, and then use that, I got a pretty nice hefty shield. And it didn't even break my shield. Nice. Then you are resolved. What has she got? Um, uh, 
in and it's gonna be awesome moving out this way uh and there's a double death again through oh, a triple death actually um Is your day off? Nice. Oh, Kaz is down. Fuck. Wait, no, that's Kaz. I'm not red. I don't know why I just taunted. Oops. I just wanted to top the the charts. Oh shit. Uh um um um. Yeah, this is fine. I I panicked because I just saw someone dead, and I'm like Kaz. I'm like, wait, Kaz isn't tanking. Where are you going, Red? Why? You run off every time. It doesn't matter where you stand on that one. As long as you don't stand in where the orbs are going to spawn. It's literally a uh, ruby weapon again. Um. Okay, what do we got? Dawn Mantle. Uh, okay. Or I'll miss it. Um, or I'll miss it. That uh, whatever that thing was again. Okay. Uh, yep, I'm gonna spread out this way. I read that you can't get your AF set until you finish uh, and Walker as well, which makes me sad. Oh shit, this is again? I don't have, um... Oh, shit. You can get it before finishing. Ow, that fucking hit me still. Oh, Kaz, you're dead. this again Hit me. 
Kaz is down again. We got a Kaz down. Fuck, I, I still don't have anything for this either. Elsie's is close to dead too. Yeah, wait, never mind. Elsie's dead. Um, let's see if I can keep this heal up then. Maybe that shake it off is. Oh, it's rough. Okay, this will probably be either in or... Yep, it's in. Oh my... Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. Um... Let me see if I can help someone. Okay, we've got Kaz back up. I've got this on me. Ow. And I'm dead. Uh, you might want to get more up. Uh. Oh, this is rough. Fight. That was home. See, I never think to pop home gang. That's my one big issue. This again? Holy shit. I'm so far away from that. Again? Holy shit, she pops this shit like it's fucking candy. Oh, I... so close to losing out, healer. Uh, 
Hey Yoshi, how you going? Go down, bitch. Holy hell, man. Does warrior dash cost gauge? Nope. Nope. The only things that cost gauge is my big abilities. That's it, no. All right, and then I continue the story. Uh, I'll give it to the Helix somehow. That was a mess. Thanks, Mithril. No, this can't be happening. Wait, did we actually kill her? <sighs> Though my power is in constant flux, I have always kept a reserve for this very moment. It was a true test of your prowess. You have done well. There is one thing I must ask. By sundering the world into 14 shards, the ether of all living beings too was divided. This reduction would in theory allow us to more easily interact with diamonds. Having seen mankind brought to the very precipice of extinction, you wished for us to develop a means to overcome despair. You believed we had the potential and sundered all creation to see it fulfilled, to deliver us to that swirling maelstrom of dynamis in which our foe hides, and grant us the power to defeat her once and for all. Is this not true? It is as thou sayest. T'was the trial to which I subjected mankind, and it hath led to untold bloodshed and suffering. There was no kindness nor justice in the tragedy I wrought. When confronted with the almighty Zodiac, my only recourse was rend him and the world asunder, that his power be diminished for a time. And so it came to pass. Now you, my chosen, Yes, so thank you for the following welcome on the stream. Well, actually, they didn't know anything. I, I, I was the one in the fight. The universe unto you. This crystal contains the memory of Mution's passage through the stars. Deliver it unto the Loperets. They will guide you to her. Though they may be capable of crossing great distances, there is a vast difference between traveling to the moon and the furthermost reaches of the great expanse. And unlike Meteon, we cannot simply soar on waves of dynamis to our destination. That's why we got a spaceship. To make such a journey would require an astronomical amount of ether. But a solution lieth close at hand. Of course. 
Yes, my child. Ever since I became the will of the star, the ether drawn here had slowly crystallized. Are we going to turn the giant crystal into a fucking spaceship? They who have answered my call know it well. While I have remained hidden, it has become the embodiment of the planet's will in my place. A faceless, omnipotent force of nature. The Mother Crystal. Our final hope. Fulfillment of this task doth fall to you, my chosen. Now, heed these words. Darkness and light, despair and hope. As goeth one, so goeth the other. Become light, become hope. A gift for thee. Come closer. Is it your hairstyle? I'll take it. Long have I searched for a means to safeguard the future of this star. Though I knew failure after failure, by recalling thy tales and my promise to thee. I found the strength to carry on. Though the world is ever changing, thy thirst for adventure hath never waned. Thine unshakable resolve never ceases to amaze, to inspire. As a mark of my gratitude, I bestow this final gift. Is it the sword? Can I have the sword? Just possess the crystal of Azan, yes? Oh. Are you gonna turn that into a sword? Or an axe? As yes, Elia. I reside over the forces of stasis, tranquility, peace. The laws which impart stability to existence itself. I will weave this self-same power into the crystal. Granting thee mastery over matter to give form to the formless. Use it wisely, for it will not last indefinitely. So, mummy axe? Heck yeah. As thou hast seen on my journey through the ethereal sea, souls are drawn to thee. Mayhap this trait will prove to be a boon rather than a hindrance. So the question lies, if she's dying, then we're no longer tempered by Highland, are we? Well, I guess we still are until we're cured of it. Cured. We also no longer have the power of Highland, then. With that, my work is finished. I mean, is an added bonus. Right the wrongs committed when the world was yet whole. Silence the song of oblivion. Teach her a brighter melody. Show her our journey is far from over.
Thank you, Hedlin. I wanted to call that out, but it would have been better if it said thank you, Vinat. It is I who should thank thee for all thou hast done and may yet accomplish. Long after I have gone, thou not even my soul remaineth. My love will be with you forever, my dearest. Oh my god, the frames, the frames are going. At least in the stream, the frames are going. Damn. My frames in game are fine too, but like the frames in fucking stream, boom. Hey Teddy, how you going? I'm glad to see you well, though we could roughly place your souls deep as you went. We could neither see nor hear you. The uh, fluctuations in your aether near the end gave me quite the fright. What in the world happened? Yeah, we, we kind of killed Heidelin. We may have just slain Heidelin. New frame rate on stream with Powered by Highland. You mean to say Highland is his? No, there's no time to feel our feelings. We must carry out Highland's will without delay. We'll find Meteon if it's the last thing we do. If you wouldn't mind handing over the crystal, that is. The fancy navigational one. Navigationary one. I'm glad I could put the giant pocket crystal in my pocket. To the edge of the universe, where congregates the despair of countless stars, you are determined to see this through. We are. Should words fail us, we will fight to the bitter end. I know that it pains you to accept this. Would that I need to ask nothing more of you? Yet, we have only two means to travel to the, the Great Expanse. The moon and Shalian's Ark. I am all too aware that without both of them, there will be no exodus. But I nonetheless beg you to honor the agreement we made. The forum's decision will be honored. You will, you have earned the right to use the ship as you see fit, and I could not rescind it even if I wanted to. As it happens, I do not and would do all within my power to aid your cause. With that settled, might I suggest you rest a while? Proving oneself to Highland is never easy, and despite our unparalleled genius, we'll need a day to make necessary calculations. You may as well take advantage of it. You can chart a course through a sea of stars in a single day? Yeah, gods? Just got disc notification no twitch notification yet that's why i that's why i did um that's why i always do discord notifications because it's easier to control shall we head above ground to uh for some fresh air then and perhaps a nap um i can't rely on twitch notifications half the time to like convey uh things but at the same time, I understand that even Discord notifications can be annoying because you can get hundreds of them. 
and that can be a pain in the ass. I also would have had uh, Aether Currents today had I been able to log in. Okay. Jump. Oh, that was fucking dumb. I think we ran out of lucky bun energy that time. Um, dude, I want that crafter so, uh, top so much. Hmm. It's so good. The crafter top, the level 91. This one right right here. Like so popular right now. It's so good. Alright, I guess this funny will do. There, there's, there's not many of them. Oh wait, this one here. It's a warrior bunny, yes, I, I can do it you too. Believe in warriors. Um, it's 565 eye level and I just finished um, story. Ah, I've been expecting you. I heard about your foray into the ethereal sea. The students have ventured far and wide, but never quite so deep as that. Are you experiencing any after effects from your prolonged exposure? Nausea? Dizziness? Hauntings? Hmm. Well, have a pleasant sleep, and if you do experience any unusual phenomena, please let me know. I shall aid. Uh, I shall add it to our records. Time to grind tombstones. Uh. Are the um, accessories a bit cheaper though? That's probably the worst part is the accessories. Unless you do the EX and spam EXs. Okay, ominous sleeping uh, cutscene. There you are. Accessories are very cheap, but you'll um, need to get the left side plus 565. For you, at least. Believe me, I'd meant to get some yet proper sleep, but here we are, drifting along instead. Well, well, you too. And so we remain, to watch and wonder. <laughs> yes, indeed. To begin, we first must see the end. Hey, Lapis, how you going? Welcome in.
All right, wait. Uh, a bold decision. Okay, I trust you've had a good rest. An envoy of Master Fortunals uh, arrived not long ago with a message. The Lopperts have determined Metion's location. We've been asked to gather at the Rostro. I'll meet you there, along with the others. Hey, it's good you hate going. It's okay. It's all good. I need to upload all my um uh and walker streams. Otherwise I'll forget about them. I've stopped doing like uploads of like the whole entire stream, so yeah. See how good does Oh wait, she's not wearing it, never mind. I was gonna say how good the um level 90 crafter top is. I figured if I spin enough I might be able to helicopter my way up. Everyone appears to be present and accounted for. Good. As you know, the Lopperts have deduced the whereabouts of Metion by means of a crystal bequeathed to us by Heidelin herself. Your quarry's location is a place far beyond the moon, in the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars at the edge of creation. A veritable Ultima Thule. Indeed. How then are we to reach it? An excellent question. Lucky for you, luckily for you, I have an equally excellent answer. In theory, uh, with its advanced propulsion system, the moon is capable of delivering you to Ultima Thor, but the myriad of uh, myriad other facilities housed within would greatly impede travel through the Sea of Stars. Even the Mother Crystal may not possess aether enough to bear so massive a vessel to our destination and back. However, if we integrate our hyperhopper into your aether burner. We should be able to fire things up and jump our way to the end of the universe in no time. And Father, does this mean... Bear in mind, this decision was not made solely at my discretion, but with the consent of the Forum. Hearing the Lofferts' proposal, the forum was faced with a grave decision. To commit the Ark to this endeavor would mean abandoning both our plans to evacuate to the moon and resettle on another star. Needless to say, the proposition invited fierce debate. In the end, however, the forum was swayed by the simple fact that Highland believed you possessed of the strength needed to overcome the crisis. The great exodus was... After all, a plan of Heidelin's own maketh making. Therefore, if in the eleventh hour she would proffer another means by which we may seek salvation, we would be fools to dismiss it out of hand. Indeed, she sacrificed everything, her very existence, to avert the destruction of this star. That is why we have chosen to place our faith in Heidelin, in you. 
uh, the Ark will be made ready for your voyage to Ultima Thule. What of all the people that had labored so tireless to prepare for the evacuation? They must be furious. I would not. Uh, I would not be so sure. They have not forgotten your deeds on Magna Glacius. Nor did your instrumental role in orchestrating the delivery of Adamanti go unnoticed. No, the people do not protest. Quite the contrary. They have expressed unwavering support for you and your mission. Are the Lopperts too willing are the Lopperts too willing to abandon the Exodus? Were you not listening to what we uh, said? We were born of Highland's love for Aetherius and its people. If it means your survival, we would do anything to help. And you'll most certainly have need of our expertise. Where you're going, there's no guarantee Ultima Thule is a place that supports life, an otherwise vexing problem um, our know-how can remedy. Besides, Eidolon chose us to lead the way to Mathion. Why else would she give you a crystal only we can decipher? But more importantly, we were perfectly content to evacuate Aetherius until you brought us back here, or brought us here, Ariange, and now you've en we're enamored with this place. So what choice do we have but to save it? Hey, Penicilli. Welcome. Of course, none of this would be possible without you and the science. So I must ask, are you certain you wish to do this? You couldn't stop us if you tried. We'll avert the final days, whatever it takes. Well, we've come this far. Uh, you can stuff us if you tried. Very well. We shall inform the forum of your decision and begin preparations to bolster the Ark and, uh, with the, uh, Hyper Hopper. The Lopperts will coordinate with the Ilzebard contingent to have the necessary components transported via the Tower of Babel. Of course, it will take time until the work is complete. But now, pray take your ease. It would seem there is naught to do here but rest and prepare, shall we? Okay. Oh, wrong way. All right. Oh, they're right outside. I literally just chucked Sprint on because I was like, uh, run back down to the uh, Baldessian Annex. Ere we depart, we must leave nothing undone. Quite. Though it is difficult to conceive of how one can best prepare for to brave a domain where Dynamis governs all, Nevertheless, Highland deemed us worthy of the trials that await. She deemed me worthy. Sorry, you're still a... Go disappear for the rest of the expansion like you normally do. For lack of any other feasible options at this late stage, let us trust in her judgment and face Metion as we are. Which leaves the not so small task of coordinating our efforts here to you and Tatru. If all goes to plan, we'll be back before you know it. I certainly hope so. 
We will be praying for your safe return. May have it will affect the dynamis for the better. With that settled, we should get some rest and make the most of the time we we've been afforded. Hmm? I literally just woke up and now I'm like going back to sleep again. The meeting's over, is it? You were in there so long. No, I wasn't. I started to worry. What did they have to say? We're going in the space. We're going space. The edge of creation. I see. Rest assured, everything will remain in order until you return. And you will return. Actually, Himiko, could I borrow you for a moment? Looks like your plans for the interim are decided. When the two of you have finished, meet us back at Baldessian Annex, alright? Come with me to Agora. I have something to show you. Keep trying to mount up. Yeah, is that? That's not the Dark Knight, is that? Um, Gemini, thank you for the raid, and welcome everyone from Gemini stream. How was Pokemon Emerald? Where are you winning? How's it been going? Sorry, I'm just checking out bunnies. Don't worry about me. I like this outfit. I've always liked this outfit. And then Voidark, set recall. Is it? It's fine if I can click on them. Economy, uh, wait, oh wait, it is a Voidoc. Uh, Voidoc armor offending. Wee wee. Oh, a nightmare, it's so fun. I randomized it to hell. Oh. Just uh, regular because I messed it up good. Uh, welcome, Himiko, to Tatcher Taru's Boutique. I've always done my best to provide the science with fashionable attire, but in your case specifically, I make an extra effort to strive for the most functional yet stylish clothing one could ask for. Not that I'm playing favorites, but you are the warrior of light. The face with this unprecedented crisis, I knew you would need an ensemble, unlike anything I've created before, and that I wouldn't be able to do it alone. And so after enlisting the aid of the world's finest artisans, I finally completed my career-defining masterpiece. But then inspired struck, and I saw a golden opportunity just begging to be seized. With the help of some Thavnan uh, refugees, I decided to set off a shop here in the, uh, Chalain. Of course, I would never charge uh, you for our works. Perish your thought. Yes, you would. Don't lie. Uh, Versarida. Whatever the name is. How are things going along? Everything's in order, Mistress Tatcher. We will be ready to open shortly. I've got some chicken nuggets. Have a good stream. No worries, Gemini. Thank you again for the raid. I hope you have a lovely bunch of nuggets and enjoy yourself. <laughs> Thank you again. Take care of yourself, all right? Uh, which is why I brought you here. 
to be our very first patron. Would you mind waiting here a moment longer? Okay. The following events cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel and... Okay. Ah, I did not expect to find you here. Oh, it's Vashon. I imagine Nidhana would also wish to um, offer her regards. Alas, after delivering our dragon scales to the engineers, she remained to assist with their work on the Aether Banner. This simulcrum, too, will stay in Charlian. While I oversee matters in Radzahan. Thunder? It's loud. Um, it is a rather convenient means to keep abreast of develop uh, developments pertaining to the final days or anything else. It also allows me, after a fashion, to watch over my people in this distant land. Hi, Bull Mako. It's the meat puppet. Michan, I was hoping you'd stop by. I can't thank you enough for allowing your artisans to work with me here in the boutique. Please, it is I who should be thanking you. This establishment has restored a sense of normalcy to their lives. You have uh, blessed them with newfound purpose and a means by which to support themselves in this these troublesome time. What's more, when they at last return home to Ratatan, the experience and knowledge they have gained in your employ will no doubt prove a boon to the artisanry um, and commerce of our land. In fact, I came here to see how your new uh, employees are settling in and to express my gratitude for granting them the, uh, this opportunity. It's an opportunity for me as well. Believe you me, your artisans um, have taught me so much about Thavnir craftsmanship and their resourcefulness, resourcefulness and ingenuity are nothing short of inspiring. Can't wait to see what kind of wonders we come up with. I pray you have every success in your endeavors, Mistress Tatru. Before coming here, I heard word of the forum's decision of what will soon be attempted. It was only then that I finally understood why my father called this star the last bastion of hope. Indeed, it was the last bastion, but the flame of every other star he encountered had likely been extinguished. In the boundless dark, the light of brooming life must be have been blinding in its splendor. You journey onto the heavens to protect that light. May the scales of my kin serve you well. Have faith you will prevail and restore peace and tranquility to the star. Would that Erwan had been alive to see it. I should like to visit Ratzahan again when it's all over. Where your faith in me might be misplaced. Only Erwan. I will not see his sacrifice squandered, nor shall I rest until Radzahan is returned to its former glory. Forgive me, but I must take my leave. Fare you well, and remember, the people of the star have not given up hope, have not yet given up hope, and neither must you. You know, this expansion just opens up more doors for future stuff. So there's obviously new planets out there that we could possibly look into. Um, there's still the other shards from Shadowbringers. 
So this is a few things, and there's still some other places in this world, but yeah. Personally, I'd like to go to another planet. I think that would be cool. But that that's the that's me who likes Star Ocean. Oh uh where must I go to get a meal with some flavor in this wasteland of taste? Uh oh. Here we go, old girl. My, whatever you are you up to? Uh, my, whatever are you doing here? A new boutique, you say? Hmm. I have been meaning to expand my wardrobe. Yes, something with a little more flair, perhaps, befitting a man of my station. Though I have nowhere to flaunt, said Ra Raymond. So long as my confinement uh, continues indefinitely, I. The young Lord Vortemps insists that so long as there is work to be done, no matter how trivial, I must abide here in Charlian. Thus do I toil, though ever f every fiber of my being rails against it. Why, I've even suffered the company of that brute Sicard. The sea supply is transported in a timely fashion, yet he was the one grand leave this morning to participate in some supposed covert operation. So I suffer instead for his otherwise welcome absence. Now burdened with extra busy work and without honor yeah, there is no one to prepare my meals. I came here in hopes of finding a nice cafe, perhaps. Alas, the chalet and delicacies I've sampled were lacking in every aspect of respect. Have you tried Arkham Loaf? You can find it in all the shops. If a healthy meal is what you're after, I suggest the last ten. Have you tried Arkham Loaf? Arkham Loaf? It sounds sophisticated. Like me. I thank you for the suggestion. With a full belly, I dare say I can endure this purgatory. If only a little while longer. That's how I go. Yeah, enjoy your fucking Arkham Loaf. Enjoy your fucking Archon Loaf. Well, well, is that Himiko and Tatara, I, I spy? Yes. Oh, no. Why? Why? Hancock, what are you still doing here? You said you were returning immediately after dropping off your cargo. Yes, that was my original plan. After all, any expertise required aside from the delivery of goods is well beyond my purview. But what manner of entrepreneur would squander an opportunity to study the markets of the northern seas? Worry not, I will return straightway to Kugane once I've finished. Of course you would find a way to turn this crisis to your advantage. She wounds me. The industrious woman running a new boutique. I am not blind to the tri travails of, who's, of those who fight on the front lines to deliver us from ruin. Indeed, I have every confidence that they will succeed and I would make myself and my business ready for their return. If you believe in them so devoutly, then why not put your money where your mouth is? Fair enough, Totter. Fair enough. There is not more I can do to help ready the Ark and her heroes for their maiden voyage, but on your return, I shall host a grand celebration in your honor at the Beccario Beccaro Inn. Accommodations are quite costly, given the reputation of said establishment. But the Eastern Eldenard Trading Company would be honored to foot the bill. I appreciate the gesture, but no thank you. Will there be lemon cakes?
Oh, uh -huh, a woman of taut taste, I see. Yes, there will be lemon cakes of such, much more. The finest delicacies the world and Lord Lollerito can uh, have to offer. I'll make that bastard foot the bill. I don't know, it lost these. But let us speak more of this upon your return, lest I draw even more to Hachiru's ire. Until we meet again. Until we meet. That's it, right? So we can turn around and... Ah, Himiko. Decided to spend your time at the markets, did you? Hey, it's, uh... Used to... Big some wedge. I know why I was gonna say Sid. <laughs> like, he's not here, unfortunately. Tatcher. Big wedge. I take it work on the Ark for Seeds of Pace? Aye, it does indeed. Collaborating with the great minds of Charlayan and Radzahan has been a rewarding experience. And that's to say nothing of what we've learned from the Lopperets. The Ark is unlike anything we've ever had the pleasure of working on. Even Nero was rendered speechless on the moment more than one occasion. I can't wait for you to see it. Yeah, we don't get to see him very often in this expansion. He showed up, like, literally once and that's it. It's still hard to believe we have the means to send off uh, you off into the Great Expanse, though, to the farthest known reaches of, well, everything. I never thought I'd live to see such marvels, yet here I am. More often than not, you and the Scions are the catalyst that sparks need for these great innovations to think how much i have i'd have missed out on if i had not been a member of the ironworks an awful lot of work to be fair and the privilege of being uh, worked like a cart chocobo ah, there is that too as busy as we've been I wish there was more we could do for you, Himiko. But no matter what happens, we have to keep believing for a brighter future. That we do, my friend, that we do. And one filled with even more adventure. When you head back, would you tell the engineers I'll be along shortly with refreshments? very kind of you, Tatru. They'll be glad to hear it. And on that note, Wedge and I should get going. Still a few more supplies to gather before we return. Hey, Dutchie, how you going? I'm terribly sorry for the wait. Right this way, if you please. What do you mean? You did nothing. This this poor Aura and Allison have been doing all the work while you fucking stood there and talked to everyone. Right. I don't believe the two of you have been formally introduced. This is uh, Vesaro from Pelikistan. Wait, I remember her. I 
Haven't we met before? Ah, yes. It was you who helped us Peru uh, at Perusa. And again, when crossing the ice fields, was it not? I doubt we exchanged little more than glances then. But it is kind of you to remember me. Thanks to Mitra Mistress Tatru, and uh, I and many of my friends have found gainful employment in this foreign land. It is only natural to feel fear in the face of the calamity. In such times, we must look to one another for strength and succor. I know not whether we will come to call this place home or return to Thavna, but we are here today and are glad to have contributed to the cause. And contribute they did by helping uh, make your new garments as durable as possible. We put our hearts and souls into them, and I have every confidence they'll keep you safe in the battle to come. No worries, Cecilia. Have a good sleep, right? Thank you, thank you. Guys, to think how far we've come since the humble beginnings at the wake, walking, waking, whatever fucking walking sands, let's be honest. From the rising stones to the falling snows, and even a certain insufferable someone's Ruby Bazaar, we were always fortunate to find friends along the way. Even when you were uh, swept away to the first, Rahatia was there to grant you sanctuary. I'll never forget the relief I felt when all you all returned to us. I thought my heart would burst. Yours has been a long, long journey, and I've been privileged to watch, often with bated breath, as you preserved, persevered time and again. Um, for all the joy we've shared, there's been much sorrow as well. But I've long since learned you can't have one without the other. Which is why I promise to send you off to the Sea of Stars with a smile. And you can be certain I'll be the first one to welcome you back on your return. You better be or I'll fucking call you out on that shit. So where where where's my there's a green tick here, but I see there it is. In addition to your new ensemb ensemble, uh, we have raiments and weaponry for every need. So please feel free to browse our stock. We now obtain jump specific. Ah, finally, yes. Give me my. Wait, I can get it all. What? That's weird. I don't like the axe that much, but um, why doesn't the vendor have class filters on it? Not sure. Hi, hi. Hey, Dread, how you going? Hope you're here. Dude, I'm a fucking. I'm gonna slap you with a 10 minute fucking fun timer if you can. 
Why is that making a smacking noise when he does that? That's weird. You slapped him with a 61 second title. Why? Why 61 second? So random. The damn graph face slider for timeouts. Oh yeah, it's fucking trash. I realize you still got um, lots to do before you depart, so I won't keep at you any longer. I do hope you can find a moment for yourself, and the others can as well. They said they were returning to Veldasian Annex, though I doubt they stayed for long. If you decide to go looking for them, I suggest speaking with Kral first. I'm sure they would have told their, uh, would have told their plans. Um, I'm curious about... Wait, do we not have... We still don't have level 90 accessories? That people can craft? That's weird. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Wow, there's no level 90 accessories. Or armor. That's going to be very weird. There is no level 90 battle gear. No crafted stuff until crafting patch in two-ish weeks. We don't have master books yet. We get it on a savage release. Oh. That makes gearing for a lot of people hard. You're back. I take it you received your gift from Tatru. It was a surprise uh, uh, long in the making. With many, many uh, long hours fretting to get everything just right. I'm glad to see it realized with great success. If you're looking for the others... Uh, though they're already taking their leave. Yashola, Thancre, and Ariange have gone to the last stand for a bite to eat. Alice and Graha, meanwhile, uh, though their time would be better spent poring over the books, thought their time would be better spent at the Numenon. As for Elfin and Estinian, well, they've elected to pay a visit to the Lavier estate, though Estinian seems somewhat reluctant to go. I'm sure they would be glad for your company, if you would mind to seek them out. Should you be feeling peckish, I suggest heading to the last stand before you shall, before you shall and the others finish eating. But above all else, if you are foolish to run headlong in the battle, a fatigued mess, do you remember a good night's sleep? Okay, I guess I gotta go. I thought I got to choose which one I go to. Oh, that's not a way forward. Oh, Tome Gear is 570, okay. Okay, come to make our cheer a quad out, have you? Please, have a seat, and we'll see about getting you a drink. Business with Tataru is finished. My, what a thoughtful surprise. Hmm. Whatever would we do without her? Indeed. And she's right, you know. It hasn't been all doom and gloom. 
feels like a lifetime ago that Master Louis Soir gathered us together to form the Circle of Knowing. Since then, we have experienced much. But rather than feeling wiser, the more I learn, the more I find my knowledge lacking. Forsooth. As a student, vainly did I believe that I held the secrets of creation in my grasp. But that which I had seized was but an insignificant sliver of what awaited in the wider world. Every encounter, every experience hath served to open mine eyes, enlightening and humbling me in equal measure. Even from those whom I called enemies have I learned many a valuable lesson. What will we learn at the edge of the universe, I wonder? That Matty on the deck is destroying our planet. Ultima Thule, where the bringer of the end makes her nest. <laughs> I, for one, can't possibly imagine. Whatever awaits us there, we will survive. If nothing left to prove, not to win norm and failure, we'll get uh, through this together. Just make sure you, uh, you bring enough ammunition. <laughs> Better than to leave home without ample supplies, thank you very much. But didn't pick up the gun blade yesterday. But to think I used to prefer fighting from the shadows. Gods, I really have changed. <laughs> We've come far together, and if we have aught to say about it, we'll go further still. Aye, we will avert this calamity and return home. Cake. In preparation for which, we must give thought to what we hope to achieve after the proverbial dust has settled. What with the primals and Asians all but dealt with, I suppose we'll need to look for new hobbies. In all seriousness, though, in uniting to overcome a common foe, the disparate peoples of the world have found a way forward together. It's a truly gratifying sight to see. Indeed. Though it was many years in the making, we have successfully set in motion the gears of fundamental change. I love how, like, literally it's just been uh, Yishol and Anchor talking. Ariane is just in the background. With this, we have fulfilled our humble role as a symbol of hope. And I dare say it is time to bow out. After all, there is no shortage of hands to bear the torch in our stead. You know, I never really considered I might live long enough to see an after. But even if my time as a scion came to an end, I don't expect that much would change. Traveling the world, going wherever the wind blows, Lending a hand to those in need. A journey for journey's sake. It doth suit thee well. I must confess I too have yearned to see more of the world. If thou art amenable to the suggestion, I would accompany thee. Mine ability to affect an air of normalcy through artful disguise is much improved, thou must concede. Aye, well, improvement is relative. You still look suspicious no matter what you wear. Damn. What of you, Ishtola? Any grand plans? Why, continue my quest for knowledge naturally. To begin with, I wish to know the state of the reflections, to which end I must find a means to travel between worlds. 
Yeah, she's going back to Ashrothka boyfriend. To keep my promise. Should my pursuits prove unduly arduous, I won't hesitate to call on you. And in return, I will take you to see Reen one day. I'm sure you cannot wait to see the fine young woman she has become. <laughs> Spare me. And what of thee? What wouldst thou pursue at duty's end? Here's yours. My apologies for the wait. Well, shall we make a toast? To victory. To our comrades. I'm going to recreate Animal Crossing on an island. <laughs> Can I get to say something? No. Well, fuck you guys. You know the funny part is I still know there's a whole another zone still to come. Leaving so soon? I suppose it's for the best. If you'd rather not explore the bottom of the bottle uh, with Ariange, I dare say the others would welcome your company as well. If you can find them, that is. In any case, as long as you make the most of your time, then that is all that matters. Yep, by Hishola, the person who really hasn't had much to do with this expansion, but okay. Item level and attributes synced to current job level. Oh, interesting. Advanced building forbidden, diable conditions not met yet. So can I actually look at the die? Oh, I can. Just, just for, just for, uh, red sake. There you go. Look, it doesn't even go golden. Can I dye the axe golden then? Over here, there it is. What's putting we doing out here? Oh, there they are. All right, I'm just gonna grab a drink before we go with this one. One moment. <laughs> Let's talk to these. 
He tries speaking with Elsie, but she's fast asleep. Wait, are they both falling asleep? Or are they both asleep? Yep. So I'm just going to take a take a seat next to him and fall asleep too. So when they wake up, they're like, what the fuck? Oh. Knowing them, they're probably dreaming about the celestial adventures to come. Just as well. They've been running themselves ragged of late. Unlike you and the others, I'm a few steps removed from the danger and excitement. The things you all get up to never fail to impress me. Not only for your safety, but your happiness after everything you've sacrificed you earned it a thousand times over from the simple pleasures of tucking into a hearty meal or or collapsing into a comfortable bed to the grand triumphs of visiting legend how is she sleeping like that finding true love you deserve all the joy in the world. There is so much that life has to offer. So much to be treasured and shared with those we hold dear. So promise me this. Come what may, you won't give up on your own happiness. When you're out there fighting tooth and nail, it's all too easy to forget. But in the end, your passions will be your greatest strength of all. Remember that. This feels familiar. Well, it is good to be. Wait, what are you, what am I, gods, don't tell me I fell asleep. Not that there's any shame in it, but you were sleeping like babies. Oh, how embarrassing. Hey, you're coming. Hey, go on. I hope you've been well, by the way. Welcome in. Not a word to anyone. Understood? Not one word. I'm gonna tell everyone. I'm told that sleeping in proper beds of your own choosing is a much more effective way to prepare for battle. Oh. So, what were the two of you doing here? Oh, you know, I just came to sit and sleep next to you. ...to return to the library. Thought I'd take care of it while I could. And you? It's a secret. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. I just want to chill here for a bit before I start stream. Have you had a good stream so far? Yeah, I've had a good one. Um, I, I will probably be going super late. So it's going to be a long stream, but yeah. What are you playing today? What are you up to today? Is the better question. What's the closest one to the Lavier estate? Immediately activate something, Paul. 
I'll play Ukiyomi. What is that? Ukiyomi. It sounds like it's supposed to be like a horror game. Wait, Astinian's wearing clothes. What the fuck? Oh. What brings you here? Ah, so you were worried that the Levia household might again be gripped by turmoil. <laughs> All is well, I assure you. No, but we need a space based game. You should play some Phasmophobia. In my letters home, I had made mention of a Stinian, you see. My mother wished to meet the legend in person, and so we arranged to have a spot of tea together. If you talk to a Stinian before the cutscene, he actually goes like, What? You've seen me out of my arm before? Really? for one thought you held your own mother was the picture of delight <laughs> i might have been delighted myself were we in a tavern with more agreeable drink the thought of fleeing crossed my mind but what then i'd never hear the end of it least of all from tataru i'm sorry it was not my intent to cause you such distress Crazy. Thank you for the resub and welcome back to the Cookie Crusade. Illegal, yes, yeah. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your cookie badge and thank you for rejoining the fight. 21 months? That's not legal. That's not legal. <laughs> you can't drink when you're only fucking like one, almost two years old. I was reading all the extra dialogue this expansion. There's so many uh, good extra moments, um, not in the main. Months equals 21 years. Common? No, it doesn't. 21 months equals uh, basically one one year and nine months. It's just. It was one of the things I didn't want to leave undone ere we set forth. But I might be concerned though. You returning. Quick math. Was I right? Are you having fun? No, you're not allowed to have any fun. I'm going to destroy it all. Ha ha ha. Yes, you are. Perfect. I did not wish to leave for later. That which devastation. What a time to use that. After all, tomorrow is never promised. It's fine. Not like I had better things to do. Man, they really made that more red flaggy in the in the launch trailer. Besides, seeing you with your mother brought back from memories of my own. Be we rich or poor. Hey. Family is family. Well, it's past time we were on our way. Wait. Since I left home, I've made a great many mistakes. 
mistakes for which I can never make amends. But through it all, you didn't give up on me. Pretty much, um, Doc Wade. To have returned here with you at my side, it means more to me than you know. So I'm up only because of holidays. Oh, hold. I was like, what's a holiday? Like, oh, right, holidays and what schedule is so weird. Wait, you're on holidays. Oh, right, because it's Christmas time and work schedule is what you mean, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. I know the feeling. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Forgive me, but it needed to be said. I'm the one who owes you thanks. Were it not for you, I would not be alive today, nor come to terms with Nidhogg's spirit. I am ever grateful. Sundere. I suppose I ought to thank you both as well. You were never one to forsake a friend, Alphanud. I'll be counting on you. Ah, uh, sure. I want to be part of the thanks group. Well, we needn't make it a competition. You know... This must be what Heidlin meant when she spoke about depending on one another. However treacherous the road before us, together we will prevail. No worries, Duchy. Have a good day at work. Don't work too hard. Enjoy. Oh, I see a lookout. No point wasting the XV on something that's about to cap anyway. Ah, uh, crazy. Thank you for the 200 biddies. I appreciate it. always slay me, but your presence is requested. You'll be sorry. You know, that was three puns in one. That's three puns in one. I might just have to give you like a 500 minute like ban. I was choking, fuck it hell. But thank you for now the 600 videos. I was only fucking kidding. <laughs> fuck. Ah, oh, dear. And the uh, ever growing what tier of fucking. Like, what emote tier are you up to, by the way, crazy? You're probably up to the... the f hey, look. Emotes. Um... Uh, one person at the 100k. No one at the 200k. I don't even know how I can tell who's at what tier though. No, 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 no. Um, at the biddy emotes.
Oh, you're only... Oh, you are... Oh, Jesus. Okay. still have like four emote i still got four emote slots for tier one i still gotta fill and uh some animated ones i fucking man only it was easier to like get artists and not firm and have an idea of what i want as emotes so hard Anyone says, yeah, well, look, it wasn't even 21 months. Didn't take you long to accumulate those points really quick. Look at that. Look at that top. It's so good. And is there any, um, any bun thighs around? Like, I think in, like, the first couple of months, you were already fucking, like, super high on, like, the bits. This is, this is pretty fucking low effort. It's pretty fucking low effort. I keep seeing that lockbox over there. I guess we'll find we'll find some buns in space then. All right. Maybe we'll find some buns in space. There must be something here because there's I've seen like a group of people here in this section. Wait, isn't a noon like the the you know what? I'm not gonna question it. Hey Beanie, how you go? No. No, it's not. None of the Final Fantasies are connected. Welcome back, Himiko. Return to catch a few final few weeks before embarking on your mission, I presume. You'll be happy to know your chambers have been clean and fresh linens laid on. I pray you enjoy the sweetest dreams on this final night before the big day. No raid drop today? Yeah, I still can't do it. I still haven't finished the story. <laughs> I'm so far behind. That night in the Royal Menagerie in Alamigo. What the fuck's he doing? Wait, why is his hair changed? Okay. You will never get what you want. Not even the battle you pine for so dearly. Transcendent moment. What was it that I sought in you? And what was it that you sought in me? Dude, I just wanted to kill you because you're fucking annoying. And you still are annoying, and you won't die. And it's upsetting. Because you're still a basic ass villain that's boring as shit.
It's very quiet. How often have we thus assembled? To combine our knowledge and seek solutions to the problems before us. Back at the Waking Sands, it was all we could do to address the most minor of troubles. Who could have realized what we'd find when we began to look to the sources of the realm's woes? At the Rising Stones, we made great strides and shared many moments, from the joyous to the sorrowful. We've had occasion to call other places home, too. Be it Ishgard or Kugane, we were fortunate to find sanctuary wherein we might take stock and continue our fight. I was honored to host this company in the Crystarium. To stand with you all as we confronted the truth of the star itself. Is he getting character development? Probably not. It's Xenos. He has no character development. We go to fight the most important battle of all. His character development is like bare minimal. And he's like still in concept stage. The forum has sent word. The Ark is ready. The Lopriots naturally will be commanding the vessel. They will see the eight of you to Ultima Thor. Well, I mean, it's Xenos with a Z. That that Xenos that you're looking at. Upon arriving, your objective is to find and vanquish Meteon. As a final formality, the Forum bade me ascertain your resolve. So, are you certain you wish to do this? We are. Then, ere you report to Thalmasane, I leave you with these words. You must triumph. What that means will differ for each of you. To make it back home, or to simply avert doom, or perhaps something else altogether. Yet whatever it is that drives you, I have faith in its power to see you through. So please, triumph. Triumph, as we who remain behind believe you will. Let us be off then. All right, to space. The star ocean. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm going to space, Tatru, can't you see? Both Kryle and I will be there to see you off, but as your receptionist, I feel I need to say this here. Safe journey, all of you, and oh, be safe. Narisa, come and have a great stream of your own. Take care of yourself, all right? And enjoy your game. You can count on it.
Yo, Zaba, how you going? All right, to space. To space. Okay, why can't I move? There we go. And Zaba, thank you for the resub and welcome back to the Cookie Crusade. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your cookie badge and thank you for rejoining the fight. I did a thing. He did a thing. Um, I'm good. How am I? I'm good, thanks. We're nearing the end. We're about to find the last... the last location that I haven't found. I suppose this is where we part ways, for now at least. Would that I had sage words of wisdom to share here with you uh, ere you depart. May have the teachings of Galif Baldessian will suffice. Surrender not to anger or hatred, he said. Look beyond them and there try and find true strength. What one sees beyond the is beyond is open to interpretation. I think, but for me, it would be the things I cherish most in life, things I believe are worth fighting for. As uh, something to consider as you venture and see a stars. Dude, he's said like probably the most meaningful fucking thing <laughs> out of everyone that's like sending us off. Okay. I'm going to check one last time for a lucky bun, and then we're off. Um. Yeah, you can be the lucky bun. They aren't buns, they're pests. I'm telling you right now. They're pests. Okay, um, back down to this place. Oh, I got a dope back. Hell yeah. Oh, I gotta fucking go down there, don't I? I can't just teleport down there. Man, why can't I just teleport? <laughs> oh, jeez. We've had our lucky bun, and now we're off to space. This is this is how it goes down, you know. Oh, here's another lucky bun as well. Bahamut, uh, too big for. Okay, never mind. Wow, there's so many people here. This must be where the uh, raiders. Ah, uh, Mr. Simico. I've been made aware you're coming. Please use the lift here. Yep. It, it makes sense because that's kind of like where everyone is, and I don't. They're all suddenly on the story at that one section right now. Spaceship. SRFD's nuts. Take me to space. All the people here. Aaronville even came to say bye to us. Hell yeah. Fun. Green Breeders, parents. Oh, you guys. I already know you guys. Um, I don't recall exactly where you are from. Nor do I really care that much. <laughs> it's not so, uh, no easy thing to say. Leave the star to us, but we must and we will. As a proud member of the Scions, we have Judy up told. He's a Scion? Yeah, he he's... Yeah, who cares? He, he ain't important. <laughs> it's like Hori Boulder. He pops up every now and then. It's like, yeah, we know him, but we don't. We'll trade these two out. We'll take these two. <laughs> I don't think Vashan can be a um, Scion, but we'll take Vitra. And Aaronville's perfect. He, he's... To the job. 
can we and we'll take these two and we'll take her but we'll get rid of these two oh yeah we're good oh we fuck these little fuckers off we just kick them punt them off a cliff Present and accounted for. Good. As you will have heard, the Ark is ready. All that remains is to board and be on your way. Yeah, I don't follow a whole lot of side stories in this game. Oh, I've seen my fair share of tight schedules, but this was bloody murder. But we did it. We finished the ship. Safe, fit for purpose, and it's good to boot. Aye, it's a garland through and through. I really don't know what we'd do without you. Thank you for everything. Well, the work was hard, but we've learned a lot from it. After all, it's not every day you get tasked with building a star-faring vessel. In case you're wondering about payment, the ongoing existence of the world ought to do. But feel free to throw in a colorful recounting of your journey. It's it sounds like Sid's voice is different. So, have you thought of a name? A name? Wasn't everyone just calling it father's teeny tiny toy boat? Can we call it that? Because I like that. Well, seeing as its purpose has changed, I thought a more eloquent name was in order. I suggested as much to Fortuno, who seemed quite amenable to the idea. Can we just call it Teeny Tiny Toy Boat? As you know, this vessel is the culmination of heretofore unprecedented collaboration. And though said collaboration is owed to the Scions, there is another whose noble deeds made our work possible. From a fragment of Dalamud, we obtained not only advanced materials such as refined adamantite, but the knowledge to traverse the stars. And this fragment would not have found its way to us had the Archon Luiswa not fought to protect this world, and in so doing, laid down his life. Now we can travel to space. Charlians are going to be like fucking now space people now. His guidance will see you all safely home. I name the vessel after that self-same fragment of Dalamud he delivered unto us. Andy. The starship Ragnarok. Oh, funny that. Wasn't the airship in um, Final Fantasy VIII called Ragnarok? Pretty sure it was called Ragnarok. What are you all doing? See, Navazu weren't even fucking brought into this. Transport 
thou wouldst employ summoning, or should I say its precursor, creation magics. Care to explain for our benefit? As you may have witnessed at Bestway Sparrow, the Lotharids are capable of creation magics, which they use to shape the moon's environment. Yet simple though they may be seen, it is a highly advanced and exacting art. To perform it correctly requires that the wielder holdeth the object in his mind's eye in clearest detail. Hence the ancients' meticulous management of concepts. Drawing upon this art, the Asians conceived of summoning as we know it. A derivative that replaceth the complexity of concepts with the simplicity of zealotry to make manifest a creation. I see. By combining the Lotharit's magics and the tribe's faith, we convert the Mother Crystal into primals of purer form and greater obedience. Summoning as it was intended, one might say. Indeed! Indeed! While Hydaelyn gave us the ability to use creation magics, she forbade us from using it to make anything possessed of a soul, or similar. She didn't say anything about fulfilling the desires of others, though. So, barring our friend's faith, we'll create deities using the Mother Crystal's power and send them to the Ragnarok! Am I the only one here concerned about the risk of being turned into a tempered minion? Yes. Oh, right. I was getting to that. From what I've read in Charlian tomes, it appears the Athians incorporated an additional nasty element into their summoning method. The fervent desire to assimilate others into one's belief. Beings thus created are instilled with the self-same desire and use their powers to enthrall people starting with the summoner. In contrast, our creation magics, the original and the best, except no substitutes, don't incorporate any of that rubbish, so there's no risk of tempering. I mean, if the being was on the scale of Zodiac, you might feel a little tough, but I think we'll be safe enough. Truth be told, I do not understand the intricacies of this plan. But none of us would ever turn our backs on you. When the avatars of our faith ran amok, you intervened without decrying we who birthed them. Where others vilified and suppressed us, you offered understanding and friendship. Except for the Namazu. And they're not here, so who cares? Happy days. In gratitude, we will share with you the true expressions of our gods. Not malevolent deities, but benevolent saviors. All right, you lot, we're heading to the ethereal sea. Stay in sight, else you're liable to get lost. Lead the way. In anticipation of the day man might journey to the stars, we developed these. The Pokedex. Four teleportation devices, one for each of you, designed to work in tandem. It's a Pokedex. Press the button on one, and in a matter of moments, all eight will activate and send their owners back to the Ragnarok. We finally can start our Pokemon journey. You may encounter. If you find yourself separated or lost, please do not hesitate to use them. No worries, Squiddy. Have a good one. Sleep well. All of you and come back. I finally get to go on my Pokemon journey. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon master you ever. I pray you take care. Looks like everything is in order. So I'll go ahead and board. A few of my fellows will remain 
to assist with the summoning, but rest assured, the vessel was wont for competent crewing. If you are ready, then you should board as well. Go, and Godspeed. Now we just need a Xenos to show up and get a Pokedex too because he's going to be the rival. Because he's going to be like, well, if I can't fight you, I'm going to become a Pokemon master as well. If you would come this way, I will direct you to the bridge. Fun uh, boarding the Ragnarok. Yup, yup, yup. Yup, 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 yup. Take me away to the stars. Let's please. We are using primals of fuel and engine. To be a Pokemon master is his destiny. He wants to be the very best. That's a bit weirder than the SRF. See, useless. Make me thrive. You're not behind on the, the stream, are you? Incredible. Oh, yeah. This is Portiano. Can you hear me? The preparation Never mind, I know what you mean now. Are complete. In accordance with the 14th phase of the plan, we have moved the Ragnarok to the launch site. The gates are open. You may depart when ready. No worries, Vini. Have a good sleep, okay? Thanks for being here. Issue the command to launch. Have Elfino do the on. Let me do it. Fuck you guys. No, you're right, Mithril. Well, I thought it would be a lot faster than that. I thought it'd be a lot. F Fuck. <laughs> well, it might take another week to finish this expansion. I could just rewatch it if I want.
cannot imagine a greater indignity. Suck shit. <laughs> Do not sulk so. For thy mighty winds exist not only to buffet and batter. Nay, they may serve also to thrust forth with vigor. Such is thy glory. And thus it is an occasion to rejoice. So come, let us rebel. <sighs> so long as the wind blows freely, I suppose all is as it should be in creation. The rejoice. The revel. I will render unto them a storm that they may pierce the firmament and fly free. Sleeping way? Report? <laughs> All's well. Fantastic, even. Thanks to the power of those primals, the engines are roaring and we're ripping along. Turn to the same party members to rooms. Also within projected ranges, time to destination is eight carrots. Perhaps seven at a pinch. Our destination, as you know, is Ultima Thule. Lest you wonder, the place is not a star so much as a patch of emptiness. That's the extent of what our equipment could determine, anyway. From what we know of Meteon, she's likely used Dynamis to obfuscate her location. So, in conclusion, We'll only know what's there when we get there. The crew and I will see to it the ship's ready to take off at a moment's notice. We'll support the search as best we can, but it'll be your paws on the ground, assuming there is any. Well, it has to be. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Heidelin believes in you, so you ought to believe in yourselves. Just don't do anything I wouldn't. Like waiting too long to use those portable teleporters of yours. Personally, at the slightest sign of trouble, I'd mash the button to bits. And you should as well. Understood. We promise to be careful. I suggest you brace yourselves. We're about to arrive and the vessel will shake a good bit. Wait, we're already there? Damn. Our ship flies faster in fucking space than it does on fucking planet. Hmm. What is this? Something is oh, interfering with the equipment.
Greetings. Oh, hi, Matian. Greetings. Can you hear me? So this is Meteon. Have you met one of my sisters? I don't remember meeting you myself. But I do know that you're from Atheris. Why have you come? All you had to do was wait. I would have delivered to you your aid. We didn't ask for that. I don't understand. All life is destined to end. Why choose to prolong your suffering? Effort, ambition, love. They amount to naught. Happiness, should you find it, is inevitably lost. Stolen away by events beyond your control. There is no logic nor meaning in it. You think. Whoops, I fucking need to take my hand off the mouse. Come now. I speak the truth. A truth you would recognize if you looked up at the night sky. Unbroken emptiness. Cold, dark, and silent. Your world, like every other, is but a blemish upon its perfect fabric. Life is an anomaly. It is unnatural and cannot continue. The sooner you accept this, the easier it will be. Just to be clear, we're not here to argue with you. We know that life is fleeting, and that in the short time we have it, we're not assured happiness. Indeed. I've seen far more sorrow in the eyes of many I've met. I myself have plenty of regrets. And one day they'll die with me. Gone to dust with my good deeds and unfulfilled dreams. But we accept this. That our existence may seem pointless. That sorrow, rage and despair will always dog our heels. Hey Tim, how you going? We press on regardless. That is why Hydlin guided us here. Thank you for the host as well. In her boundless love for mankind, she has prepared us for this trial, and in her name, we have come for you. I'm doing good, thanks. Yes, I sense it. A burning passion like unto fury. I know it well. For the same passion once burned in many a star before yours. Suffocated and extinguished now. You approach the bounds of my ultimate, where emotions dictate reality, where resignation and acceptance unite to embrace the end, where those 
those who yet valiantly cling to life cannot. Tancred? Meteon is gone as well. Mayhap he awakened first and gave chase. Uh, uh everyone? It appears we are at our destination. Uh -oh. This... this is Ultima Who? Not that we knew what to expect. But I wasn't expecting this. From atmospheric composition to ambient temperatures, all readings are within permissible range. This place is capable of supporting life. So it was that the brave wayfarers arrived at last at Dream's End. In following their path walked and history written, I am made keenly aware of one truth. I... Though the curtains may fall again and again, so long as others take the stage, ever shall there be more tales to tell. It feels like they keep changing the um, narrator from, like, Hathaleus and Hathaleus and Emmet, but maybe, yeah, it does. Okay. I'm not going crazy. Holy shit, this place looks fucked. Exploring the area. The ship we leave. Yeah, no worries, Joshi. Um, here we are, the final zone. It's at three. Okay. I can't guarantee it will be of help in these strange surroundings, but I've readied a provisions node in case of emergency. Of course, if you encounter any real danger here, I expect you to return to the Ragnarok at once. Easy. Some dye. We're fortunate uh, this place can support life, albeit barely, I suspect. Given the uh, torpid, stale quality of the iron. But never mind that. We must find Thancred. Let's begin our search from the prow of the ship. It seems as good of a direction at end, at least. Background track. Trying not to stray too far, unless we lose sight of one another. I don't think I need to repair anything. I apparently do. I 
check on my ammo. What a... Uh, geez. Okay. Is there any right near the ship? 877 yams north. It's like fucking up there. Okay. Well, I guess we won't worry about that right now. Um, no, how you going? Thank you for the reset and welcome back to the Cookie Crusade. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your cookie match, and thank you for rejoining the fight. How you been, by the way? Cookie yeses. Cookie, cook, wait, cookie yeses? Uh, uh, uh. Ruins, but of what, I wonder? Perhaps we can find some something to help us understand the nature of this place a relic an inscription anything this reminds me of a mega to some degree to some degree look here this part is relatively intact the intricate design of the top suggests it's man-made although its builders were surely not men as we conceive of them hmm. having said that i swear i've seen this pattern before hmm i feel like it should be clicking i Honestly, I get more of an idea of, like, a Megascape peon. Um... The metallic pillar has been partially melted, like something in the distant past. The damage does not appear to have been inflicted deliberately. Further, it calls to mind the indiscriminate destruction often wrought with the heat of battle. I didn't realize the heat of battle could uh, melt, melt stuff, but okay. Some pretty uh strong heat of battle. See a dragon, there's plenty of them. Oh I say plenty. I thought this hill might afford a better view of our surroundings. A poor decision in hindsight. Besides the light from the ship, all is surround shrouded in darkness. If Thancred is here, I'd never know it. From what I can tell we are near the edge of an island, if you can call it that, surrounded by floating debris. What the fuck is that? looks like stuff is that's like something there something there as well do i need to get flying for this sir I need to get flying for this zone. Holy shit. There's so much to see. Speaking of VR chat, I need to set up a VR chat day. Hopefully when shit's back to normal, we can uh we'll do a VR chat hangout night. I still need to review a game too.
I gotta push forward with the main story quest. Did a game get picked? No, I haven't done anything with that yet. Oh, fuck. What do you say? Now, were you able to find anything? As I feared, and still no trace of Thancred. There's nothing but emptiness as far as the eye can see, which unfortunately isn't very far. No, so nothing has been picked at this point because I've been focusing on main story quests. Like, we have a... We've only been playing Final Fantasy XIV nearly every single stream, and for like double the time that I would normally stream for. Um, and obviously with Christmas here, it's it's even harder. So hopefully, once uh, this busy period of time is over with, things go back to normal, and we can set up like some other streams and stuff like that, like VR chat and. Uh, that thing but we're gonna still be focused on Final Fantasy 14 because I want to do the raiding um achievement hunting and stuff like that still um there's nothing but emptiness as far as the eye can see which unfortunately isn't very far though I can't help but suspect that someone or something is here there are times when I sense it drawing close and then a chill washes over me, leaving me exhausted. Leaving me with feelings of death and anguish. I felt it too when I was near that thing. Uh, I didn't really feel it. I killed one though. Well, the good thing is you don't need VR set to join in VR chat, but it's a, it's a lot more fun if you can have VR set. What are you talking about? There's nothing there. Before we jump to any conclusions, perhaps we should search elsewhere. Agreed. We found only more questions when we are in desperate need of answers. There's a far stench of terrain, a stretch of terrain, from the uh, ship's starboard. We've yet to explore. Let us try searching there then. So the assumption is these guys had turned into these monsters as well, assuming. Himiko, a word before we join the others. Been meaning a VR, anyways. VR headsets are great. Um, there's not, there's still not a whole lot to do in VR headset stuff. Like games like for uh for warned and like phasmophobia are great for it but games like you know resident evil weren't like resident evil 7 were never supported with it for pc which is kind of annoying and resident evil 8 didn't even come with vr You said them too, don't you? The dragons. As I thought, their presence is tenuous at best, but there's no mistaking it. No doubt your bond with Midgard Summer and mine with Nidhogg is what allows us to perceive them. Could these apparitions be related to the dragons and now live on a Theris? Uh, better to leave such conjectures to the others in any case, we must be careful. We may soon find dragons they can see as well. Hmm, death and anguish. 
What happened to them, I wonder? Guys. Bye, May. Bye, Chad. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. Hi ho. It's off to work. Hi ho. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Hi ho. Hi ho. The fuck. <laughs> no worries, crazy. Thank you for the 200 videos. Have a great day at work. Don't work too hard. And I hope to catch you around again soon. Have a lovely week, rest of the week. And if I don't see you before Christmas, have a safe Chrissy. All right. Well, they're, they're silver. What's a thing? You call it that? Or what? What you see is a memory of a world that once was. Chrissy? Yeah? Shop for Christmas. How, like, wait, no one... Do you seriously say the whole fucking thing? Do you say Xmas because that's so dumb? Have a Merry Xmas. Have a Merry Christmas. Like, come on, I couldn't think of anything more annoying. I couldn't think of anything more annoying than saying Xmas. Dude, Chrissy is such an easy word. Like, Merry, Merry Chrissy. Oh, have a great Chrissy. What's, what's the family doing for Chrissy? It, it just fucking works, man. Denizens cried out for the release of oblivion. What? Their world is dead? It is. Not a single life remains upon that husk floating in the vast emptiness. You, know, you want to know what's weird, Seiji? Is saying the whole fucking word. Oh, I hope you have a great Christmas. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, pick up your game, bud. You need to shorten that shit. These creatures are shadow and shade, perpetuated only to suffuse dynamis with their unending lamentations. Friend Sancred, where is he? A strange question. He is at your side, is he not? Oh, yes. He is here and there and everywhere within this space. He would tell you himself if he had form to form words. Such loathing and uncertainty. You don't know why you still exist. Is there an alternative you use for happy holidays? We don't fucking use happy holidays. 
Because no one in Australia has fucking happy holidays. It ain't no fucking happy holidays here. Who the fuck uses happy holidays? I've never heard anyone say happy holidays. I've never gone like to the shops, bought something and like, oh, you have a great Christmas and they're like, happy holidays. No, they fucking don't. They're like, have a safe Christmas. If they're going to say it, they're going to say Christmas. Or they say, have a safe Chrissy. Or, you know, have a great Chrissy. Or so on and so forth. But we're not going to say fucking happy holidays, dude. In like manner to the oblivion I send. I try to drown out your ether with dynamis. Beginning with this Thamgrid who came at me despite being unable to breathe. Such a simple thing, unmake ye men. In the blinking of an eye, he was gone. Didn't even have the chance to be transformed. Yet somehow, he managed to leave a slither of himself behind. What you call... the heart? Or perhaps the soul. In his final moment, he cried out from it. A single word. Survive. <sighs> that wish proved stronger than the despair that ruled here. It overpowered it, causing this space to be remade. into a place you can perceive and where life can endure. Ah, uh, thank her to be dead. You draw breath is proof that his soul lives on. For how long, however, remains to be seen. Thank her coffee, Dad. Well then, we should hurry and tend to business. It's futile. You will never reach the true me. I told you, emotions dictate reality in this space. Such changes as you might work will not alter its nature. You may see, but you cannot touch. Walk, but not advance. Meteon holds too much sway here. How do we contend with a foe who can unmake us on a whim? I do not know. But Thancred gave his life that we might come this far. We must press on. Thancred isn't dead. There's no fucking way that they made his death so fucking insignificant like that. There is no way that that that's just it. It feels like I like it. It hasn't even. Like it doesn't even feel like it was impactful. Hey, I hit level ninety, and now I got this ability. So how do I use this? Um. I can only use under the effects of Primal Rend ready, granted by inner release. Okay. So I only get to use it once. Okay. 
I only get to use it once. What um what title did I get from that too? Or do I not get a title? Okay. What title do I get? I wanna go kill something with my new move. I'll be back. I just slam dunk something. I'll just slam dunk this fucker. Fucking slam dunk. Oh, that actually takes a um a thing, okay. Oh no, no, I attacked it, never mind. Well, it has a 30 second timer to use, so you can use your fell cleaves as far as I'm aware of. I'll test it in a sec. I just want to grab this aetherite. There's no enemies here, though. So I think. Hang on, so if I've got like that, um, look at any enemies around. There you go, turtles, boidle. Um, so what you would do is you would pump this out. Use up them. Yeah, are you? it's easy. So what you would do is you would pop and in infuriate, then use um what's it called? Uh fucking whatever that becomes again. And then you would hit inner release. Uh, use up all your fell cleaves and then use primal rend. You only need to use one on cooldown. You won't get a full one out of it. But I already had it on cooldown, so it was fine. Soul without body, a form of being which, with which we are not wholly unfamiliar. Indeed, for we exist in a similar state uh, when residing in the first. The circumstances are rather more dire than this. It is true, but I choose to believe he is not forever lost to us. Regardless, in sacrifice he hath afforded us a chance to prevail. Let us not squander it and ascertain the nature of this realm, that we might confront the and defeat Metion. Astinian, Himiko, would you accompany me in speaking with these dragon? Perhaps they can enlighten us. I would ask the rest of you to survey the surroundings. If there is a path that may lead us to our quarry, we must find it. I know it's, um, it's easy, I just want Wish I could pop Infuriate during Inner Release. Uh, essentially without it using one of the Inner Release stacks. But like, don't, don't pop Infuriate during Inner Release, ever. That would be a massive waste. Pop both your Infuriates first and then but why? I, it doesn't make any sense why you would do it. Very well. We can reconvene here when everyone is finished. Metian said these dragons are shadow and shade. 
from a world whose denizens sought oblivion. As such, they are not like the amenable to compen uh, not amenable to company, let alone conversation. So please be careful. Like I don't know why you would want to ever pop in Fury during in a release. Because I want both on cooldown at the same time. Would just mean um in a release comes back off cooldown one. It's fun. I just, I don't understand why you would though. Let us sweat up and gather what knowledge we may. That to me makes no sense why you would do that though. Even for just a cooldown. Um which one are we talking to? Oh I any of them. visitor not of this star could thy slender hand bring plague to our world thy breath uh breathe extinguish breath extinguish lives people flame oh how we would adore thee alas with time our flesh shall wither our souls fade and so we wait for its inexorable march into oblivion If thou art not come to hasten our demise, I bid thee leave us. We crave not companionship, only silence. Beyond that distant veil, paradise lost, so glorious, so beautiful. We were a proud and noble race, strength embodied. We knew only love before they came. Metal mon monstrosities of black and silver. No bonds of blood did they share, nor conviction did they have to guide them. A crushing defeat. Never had we known such shame. Still now are there winds, though none could fill these wings burdened by ignominy. We fly no more, only sink into oblivion. In a world where inner chaos didn't use a stack of inner release, it would just be a minor way to optimize a more DPS by starting cooldown rolling faster. That's all. That's why it's a minor complaint. I, I just don't get it, personally. I don't have that problem at all. But... You like Bard and I don't. Thou would bid me speak? Hmm, <laughs> folly. I observe the lesson of stone. I shall not fly, nor speak, nor roar. Only watch and wait and end. But one sight yet stirreth my blood. Tempeth me to rise my voice in lamentation. Arm Null, the cradle of unsung dragons. No words, no songs are possessed of the weight to describe such tragedy. Go, if that be thy will, I shall remain. Where am I? Oh, I, I'm already moving along, okay. Well, bye, dragons that I've met for, like, literally five seconds. Have a good one. Um, where is that aether cart, though? Should be right here. Oh, it, it's still further up. Okay. I, I, like I said, I just don't see what you're seeing in it, personally. But maybe because I'm not you generally like a warrior player. They led you here as well, did they? 
It was described to me as the source of their woes and proof of their end. I think I'm beginning to see why. It's a hatching ground, all was. I've seen similar on a thirst. Midgard Summer's kind must uh, once have lived and thrived in a place such as this. Reacher said his father was driven from their ancestral home by war and strife. This, then, is the fate of those who remained. Let a, let's have a look around. Maybe these eggs have more to tell than of what happened here. Gingerly lifting a large egg from the uh, vicious mire, you peer inside to see a formless mass soaking in a pool of embryonic, embryonic uh, fluid. Your stomach turns as you return the egg to its resting place. A murky liquid has pooled inside this eggshell. The noxious photo is indescribable Indictive of contamination. Indicative, should I say, not indictive. Inside the shattered egg, you find the remains of an unborn dragon. The body has already begun to decompose. The gelatinous, half-dried membrane covering the corpse just it failed to emerge. The egg appears to have been broken from inside out. Perhaps the dragonette within succeeded uh, in hatching. What's this? I thought all the eggs had been ruined. If the dragonette was indeed hatched, there is no sign of it here. Or its sire, for that matter. We should look for them. You start with the cliff tops, and I'll search the plains. Okay, off to work I go, looking for more shit. Oh, okay. Um, there it is. I want to get to fight some shit. Am I near that Aether current? Nope, it's still so far off. I think I've gone past it. Surely I have gone past it. Maybe. boisterous howling hath been quieted by thy hand i presume everything all right i thought i heard a dragon or something resembling one and i see what's happened here was that your child perhaps some eggs within arm no are indeed mine in life if life within one did quicken quicken the beast thou hast slain may be of mine my blood yet i do not recognize it twisted and malformed as it is not a dragon in truth but a reminder of our failures a testament to our shame explain They descended from the heavens, called heartless machines, and with them rode war and death. With fire and fury, rage and rancor, we gave answer. It was a long and bloody battle, but only the beginning. Untold chaos and destruction 
swept over the star. In the end, the invaders were victorious. Yet, when they looked upon their prize, they deemed it unfit for requisition. We were abandoned to our ruin. The survivors sought to put away their shame, to rebuild a futile effort. In purest soil replete, with aether did we once cultivate our nest nesting grounds, but our lands were barren, and any egg nurtured in such uh, desolation were fated to rot. What few survived to hatch emerge as abominations? We shall have no new progeny. But there are dragons amongst among you capable of journeying to other stars. That there are, many would make the attempt, each bearing a clutch of eggs. The richest star were home to the harshest rulers, and the arrival of dragons incited contest for supremacy. When the fires faded, the wars lost and won, they too were reduced to ash and waste. Tis the curse of those who seek life, to be drawn into conflict, to conquer or be conquered. A vicious cycle we now choose to break. We tire of conflict, of everything. We wait now in sweet, merciful silence, free from strife and suffering, still as stone. Wait, you claim your kind is doomed, but there is another star. Yes, he doesn't want to go there. They want only to brood in silence, to be left alone with the grief until the time itself comes to an end. The sole reward for senseless bloodshed, a pain I understand and wish that I did not. The fools we were, what fools we were. But now isn't the time for such thoughts. The others will want to hear what we've learned. Come. Come. Okay. Let me just go explore over this side. To make sure I... Unlock. There we go. So I'm assuming there's going to be a way to teleport across there. Since there doesn't seem to be a way to get across. One of the dragons will take me across, maybe. Base Omicron. Wait! Fucking, it's here! Shit! We fucked. A bird. Oh no, guys. Omicron's on this fucking planet, too. The character looks really cool. Thanks, Saber. And how you going, Firearms? How you been? It's been a while. I hope you've been well. Am I in the... yeah. Merry Christmas to you as well. Or, oh, uh... As, uh... Happy Holidays. <laughs> Were you able to establish any meaningful contact with the dragons? I see. They wish to escape what they perceive to be a cycle of conflict. Thank you, Himiko. Estinian. As for our part, I believe we are more accurately, acutely aware of our confines than before. We started by traversing the perimeter of the island to see if there might be a path leading off of it. Sadly, there's nothing to be found. There is no small amount of debris floating about. Could there be enough to serve as a bridge to lead Elsa? I considered that, and so I tried throwing a stone 
onto a potential platform to judge its integrity, but it never reached its mark as it crossed an invisible threshold just beyond the boundaries of this island. It vanished only to be only to reappear above me and fall at my feet. It would appear to not be uh, I would appear not be too quick to presume that what we see outside this space is as it appears. Which is why I return to the Ragnarok and ask the Lofferts to search for a potential path. However, the ship's instruments failed to provide conclusive data on the surrounding area. Until we know more, I think it's too risky to attempt flying to another island. What Meteon told us before, that emotions dictate reality here, might be the key, but I'm not entirely sure what emotions might manifest a bridge to lead us to safety. So, what you're saying is we have no way forward. At present, I, if it is indeed emotions that govern this island, perhaps it is not Meteons, but the dragons that hold us here. They tire of conflict and have chosen a path path of oblivion to escape it or rather they have chosen no path at all meaning they there is no way for the dragons or anyone here on this island to advance a sound theory disheartening though as it may be if that is the case of what recourse do we have they are not like to be persuaded to help us their reasoning is built on a history of turmoil and strife. Without irrefutable proof, the future is not as bleak as they believe it to be. Mayhap persuasion is not the answer. Matian meant to unmake us then and there on the Ragnarok, and she would have succeeded if not for Thancred's determination. She concluded it was strong enough to overpower the despair that otherwise rules Ultima Thule and reshape it to a degree. Perhaps it can be done again in like manner by overpowering the prevailing emotions. It was Ultima Thule's architect, Matheon herself, against whom Thancred did pit himself in a clash of wills, though I marked no leader among them. As such, I did chance to encounter a dragon possessed of despair far more potent than most. Potent enough, mayhap, to dictate the course for others, and thus their domain to follow. He spoke but few words, uh, carefully chosen. Their tone and timbre alone uh, threatening to rend my heart in twain. Uh, challenging his desire to remain my, may allow us to alter the island upon which we stand. Oh. Alas, I fear the vaunted rhetoric availed me not against his calcifying heart, but mayhap one of you will fare better. You probably just didn't fucking understand you, Ariange. Let's be honest. And I shall guide thee. I and they call him in the dragon tongue thou wilt find him nearby eyes fixed upon the water well what have we to lose let's get going Is that the one? No, that's not him. Fucking never zoom out, really.
Can I not? No, I can't get across that way. I have to go over here. I wonder if there's aether currents over here, but I just can't see them because the um, the compass for some reason just picks one and that's it. You're stuck with that one. I do love that white mage set. Sometimes it fixated fixates on one. No, I don't want the answer. I found it like I've stood next to one and it's still fixated on the one that I previously had. Entombed in melancholy. I see. Perhaps I could I'll handle this. Waiting to die like all the others, are you? Hi, our pride is crushed, and our souls corrupted. The winds are stilled, and the heavens offer no comfort. There is nothing left for our kind. Our long-lived lives a curse as we await the end. Still as soon we shall become. So you say. Yet your kind has found a new beginning on our star. One of you braved the expanse, bearing with him a clutch of eggs. They and their children now rule our skies, their song heard by all. A kin on another star? And yet, upon thee do I smell the blood of my brethren? Were they drawn into discord and war on their new home? They were. They suffered much and repaid their suffering in kind. It mattereth not whither we fly. Ever will a sanguine ocean await us. Ever will retribution's wheel turn. And so, on the loss of my pride as a dragon, I break free of this wheel. I renounce conflict, exile myself from the others, never again to be touched by the flames of hatred. Your brethren made the self same choice. My family might still be alive. Yet lasting peace does not come to those who simply retreat from conflict. No, you must be willing to confront it, to stare into the face of your foe and see yourself in him. Only then. Can you break the cycle of torment and tragedy? This lesson, a dear friend taught me at the risk of his life. There is no nobility in your penance. You wallow in self-pity. And after everything we've endured, we will not let you stop us. Stay back. We tire of war, we tire of turmoil. Dignity tarnish, crimson stained. Now nah, we're not on the move. Wow, the frames on this one. 
Look at me, one frame by second. Release us now. Uh, release us from war, from life. Who needs frames? There's a wind. He's opened the way for us. Sacrificed himself to remake this place, like Thancred did. <laughs> oh, Alphano. But if they keep dying off, I won't have them to for the dungeon. Let us follow the wind. It will not lead us astray. They're not dead. He would not. Just to keep in line of all that and sort of thing, I'm gonna drive my car apparently. You know, when you spend as much time in this game as you do with your character, it's always weird to see someone else in the cutscene. Oh, fuck. I need to get up there. Look there, the wind. This is a Stinian's doing. I'm sure of it. We should ride it slow and see where it leads. Take me away, Scotty. Beam me up. Powerful Gale has delivered you to another island. The other Scion should arrive before long. Oh wait, I gotta... Gotta wait. I think Elpis is still my favorite zone though. It's cool to see another planet, but Elpis is by far. He... he did it. He found a way forward for us. The dragons remain trapped within a prison of their own making, lamenting the hor horrors of war, yet Estinian knew them better than most. He was a man of honor and a dear friend, willing to fight to the very end for what he believed was right. And he's still fighting Elfenode, just like Thancred. Their sacrifices are why we uh, can survive here. Why we still have a chance to stop here, her. 
Even in spirit, they are unwilling to give in to despair, and we mustn't either. Elze is right. We must press on for their sake. Oh, don't get me wrong. Like, space is cool in that, but, like, and I love, like, you know me, I love Star Ocean, so, like, going to other planets and stuff like that is fucking cool as shit. But Elpis was pretty fucking amazing. Roads paved. Sacrifice. What the fuck? Why is... As she stole it and Alice said, we must continue. Hmm. Notice the change in our surroundings. Perhaps this is a memory of an altogether different world. It would be prudent uh, to learn more of it then. Trend, uh, tread carefully, lest we lose our footing in sand. I guess now I see why uh, Elpis and this place weren't ever mentioned. Because it would be huge if they did. Fuck is that thing? Aether current. Ah, uh, everything seems fine to me, but I really had a few issues, like, right back when it first came out. Hey, D-Man, how you going? Were it not for the violet crystal embedded in the surface, but appear as ordinary stone, a curious script hath been etched upon them, unless it is not a language within with which I am familiar. I cannot say I recognize it either. Nor I. The dragons, from what I recall, preserved their knowledge in song and ensued the writing word written word entirely so we may assume that it's the work of another race one we have yet to encounter metian claimed the dragon's world suffered a slow death seeking the release of oblivion what life we find here like as not doth wend its way forward uh, toward a similar end What do you suppose that is over there? I'm not sure. It's hard to make out at this distance, but its surface seems to bear the same crystal as the monument. Meaning there's a chance we may find whoever built them both. We should go and have a look. Come on. Okay, uh, still at work. Almost 1.30 a.m. 1.30 a.m. and at work? Damn. It's major patches don't really have issues. It's expansions that it's always had a couple of issues with. But, you know, that, that's give or take. Doesn't bother me in the least. You know, I have seen these as a minion. But, uh, yeah. Hey, 
Hail travelers, this is a most unexpected occurrence. Oh, um, hello there. Is this your home? Indeed it is. Ah, oh, forgive me. I had forgotten. An exchange of introductions is expected when first meeting those with whom one is unacquainted. When the vibrations of vocal folds was still required to convey our thoughts and intentions, ear, I believe, is, uh, was the pronunciation used when referring to our people. Though it is not entirely applicable uh, given our present state, you're welcome to use this uh, appellation. As for the nomenclature, uh, nomenclature to address an individual person I believe it would be pronounced Kofkud Kofkud? Yes Kofkud Kofkud um, of Ia We have encountered beings that communicate uh, intermittently through thought but never one that is wholly without voice. I presume we are having this conversation via the medium of aether or dynamis, as this space is sufficient, suffused with vast quantities of it. Fascinating in either case. Hey, Hafiz, how you going? I gather your response to my presence is positive then. Um, that is well, but there is something I wish to ask you. Like yourselves, we are uh, aether-based life forms. Therefore, it may be surmised that your bodies are of comparable biology, biological composition to those we once possessed. I have a number of queries regarding your subjective uh, perception of the five senses: sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. In total, I have prepared one hundred. And eighty nine billion seven hundred uh seven hundred twelve million one hundred and eighty thousand eight hundred and twenty seven. Uh that's rather a lot, isn't it? Ah, oh, my apologies. I have omitted a great many details nece necessary to understand the nature of my request. Though we dispen uh, dispensed with our corporeal vessels long ago. We have rediscovered a need for flesh and have endeavored to recreate our erstwhile forms. However, all pertinent uh, records have been lost due to passage of time. Take, for example, the nervous system. It is well within our power to recreate but we have no frame of reference for sensations once experienced by our people, which may compromise our ability to interact with our physical environment. And the reason you need to regain corporeal forms? Why, to bring an end to our existence, of course. Though need is perhaps too strong of a word, it would be a simple matter to unmake ourselves through use of etheric exoplanets. Um, but such a death seems inadequate. The turn dark. Yeah. A traditional traditionalist among us believe proper death requires an inescapable sense of impermanence uh, in one's final moment and an experience found only with de uh, bodies of flesh we should very much like to hear more of your plans in exchange we will answer any questions you have to the best of our abilities
Hmm, such an exchange of information would indeed prove useful. Very well. To ensure uh, efficient, efficacious exchange, I hereby invite you to our home. Yes, the abode of the ear, where we traditionalists prepare for our demise. I presume your consent to answer questions is indicative of tacit approval uh, of our plans, in which case your cooperation is greatly appreciated. I must caution you, however, to be mindful of the ear wandering the desert. Their desire for bodies of flesh could be described as overzealous. Now, if you would follow me. This is going rather smoothly, not that I'm complaining, mind. Even so, we mustn't forget their aim is oblivion, much like the dragons. Though I fail to see why a civilization so seemingly advanced would choose to unmake all that they have created. At any rate, we will find no answers dallying, around, uh, dallying here. Let us be on our way. Hundred and oh, oh, there's a, there's a thingy here. Um, now where did that say? Southwest. Should be an aether current down here. Oh, it's up there. Okay. Okay. The only reason I'm going to probably safely run down ish is because if I get attacked as I drop, I die. Uh, let's see. Northwest. Nice. That's not too far off. I just gotta finish these three zones and I've got flying everywhere. Welcome to our abode. Most of our um, compeers you will find remain idle in their domiciles. Um, though your quizzical expressions indicate my phrasing is unclear. I speak, of course, of the violent crystals, crystalline constructs, hanging from the stone structures are. You say they remain idle, but what of your, your work to regain corporeal form, bodies? An abstrute, astute question, and understandable, given your finite nature, we have no desire to pursue our research for it is no longer necessary. If in our idleness we are struck by sudden inspiration, we rise to per uh, pursue said inspiration to its conclusion. That is why I present for you your, your arrival and why I continue to engage with you still. But while the others are not currently in a motile, motile state, Rest assured, they would not object were you to disturb their respite. You need only cast your thoughts towards one of their crystal domiciles to communicate. Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna talk with crystal cocoons. You cast your thoughts towards the crystalline uh missile and there is no response. Okay. Don't wanna fucking talk to me. I'm going to get the aether current over here though. Not eighth. Eighth of current. Fucking eighth of right. Jesus. Hundred and twenty arms northwest. Should literally just be around here. I've seen these things before. There it is. It's water. What the fuck? Looks like gel. Hey, lazy. Hey, go in. You you wish to speak? Very well. Pray a moment, would you? Thick water? Oh no. <laughs> the next one. To the east, okay. I've missed that whole area. Why seek our end, you ask? If you wish to know, I will tell more. Just a moment. I must remember. What form did I take when I last, last I emerged? You're just lacking. I'm doing well, thanks. Looking to hopefully finish this fight tonight. Ugh. Strange mooning comes and goes, but soon fades into silence. Did your inquiries yield satisfactory responses? I see. If they fail to answer, then it is likely because their minds have unraveled due to prolonged idleness. They are not but concentrating concentrated aether right uh, now. Worry not, there are no others who have need of those lodgings and they will not provide a hindrance to remain as they are but more importantly you said some few did answer your request for an audience yes i imagine they will um be with us ere long well i have reached the 90 dungeon i know you want wait what flesh abandoned Abandoned? Probably what it's supposed to say. I have... I had no luck, but everyone else fared well enough. What if you ear have awakened? Ah, there they are. May I introduce you, Lalak, Tuduk, and Nanade? It has been too long, Kofko. I dare say, sad for, 
has since uh, completed an orbit. Indeed, until the travelers brought it to my attention, I hadn't noticed how unraveled some had become. Travelers, ah, of course, of course, the ones who wish to know why we seek to regain corporeal forms. The truth of the matter is a plain to see as a neighboring system, but my single account would fail to satisfy the requirement for scientific objectivity. Thus did I bid them awaken you, and thus I shall leave to uh, wait for you all at journey's end. Am I the only one who struggles to tell who is speaking? Nay, thou art not. In the absence of corporeal forms and the divergence uh, they afforded, may uh, much may have such similar clarity in voice is unavoidable. By the way, Kafkod, have you um, already observed the requisite uh, custom for the travelers? That which one is expected to do when receiving guests, a matter of proper form? Ah yes, so long as it has, so long has it been, I had, it had completely escaped my mind and still does. What was it again? I can't seem to remember. Neither do I. Pity. I was hoping you would. Perhaps we can search for the archives, uh, search the archives for the answer. Come now, Nedney. The archives have long been frozen. Unless we subject ourselves uh, to further dollar, surely you recall that much. Ah, of course. Food. Custom is to serve food. Beings of flesh such as they must regularly replenish their ether. By contributing to their replenishment, we communicate our friendly intention. That's right, that's right. We duly invite you to join us in communal repast, after which we may engage in leisurely conversation. If we have a chance to learn something, when I see no reason to decline. Excellent. If you would care to follow, we shall feast you on the purest aether. What, are we going to just fucking eat, like, crystals or something? Yummy. This facility is where we replenish our aether. There is no particular name for it, but we traditionalists sometimes use the word restaurant. Now, when, if you would take your place with your comrades, the space will soon be awash with purest aether. Please absorb as much as you like. Is that an enemy one or is it it's okay? You brace yourself in a rush of sweet, sweet aether, but nothing seems to happen. Perhaps you need to wait a little longer. You brace yourself again, but again, nothing seems to happen. Just as I had suspected, as meticulously as one might recreate the ear's home world, this is Ultima Thule. One cannot simply generate aether here. As recreations, our friends are oblivious to this fact, to the very truth of their existence, much like the phantoms of the recreated Emeron. Our appearances may seem, um, we must ever be mindful that it is the memories of the dead with whom we deal.
So, did you have your fill of ether? Alas, we couldn't absorb it. A deficiency in our forms, it would seem. Oh, how very unfortunate. May I ask you normally uh, how you normally replenish your aether? Through your mouths, you see? How oh, very primitive and quaint. To think that their mouths serve not only to expel sound, but drone sustenance besides. Such life forms have long since vanished from our systems. Though we regrettably could not partake in your magnificent feast, rest assured we feel your welcome most keenly. In the course of acquainting ourselves with your sophisticated ways, however, we could not fail but wonder, wherefore do you wish to obtain vessels of flesh, and thence to vanish? Will you not uh, favor us with an explanation? You flesh and blood beings are always so hasty. It does have its charm, however. Very well. We shall indulge you. In the beginning, uh, when the ear uh, yet possessed corporeal bodies, our ancestors dedicated themselves to pursuit of knowledge and technological advancement. By transcending all limitations, we believed we would eliminate sorrow and abide in truth, ha truth happiness. From the tangible such as land to the intangible such as labor, there exists a myriad hindrances to progress, but the most confining of all was the flesh itself. Our natural lifespan was distressingly uh, middling, you see, too short to enjoy hurried lives, yet too long to be considered disposable. Furthermore, to simply maintain the integrity of our bodies demanded um, considerable resources. Something actually I just forgot to check. Sorry, I just need to... But we managed to solve this problem. After long years, we discovered how to become non-corporeal entities with everlasting lives, untroubled by the failures of the flesh. Thus changed, we had more time and freedom to continue our scientific pursuit. We went on to make ever greater strides in our quest to transcend all limitations, until we finally decided to challenge the loss of them all, the limit of knowledge. And that is to say, deciphering the laws of creation. We sought to discover how the universe came into being and explain all excellent uh, phenomena, and then to predict the future. If we could but achieve this, we believe that we would be free from uncertainty and anxiety and did you find answers you sought? Yes, we did. Our efforts revealed to us a fundamental truth. Knowledge of said truth is essential for the continuation of our conversation. If you would learn more, we will share it with you. No, we mustn't. Primitive as they are, it would be unspeakably cruel to deprive them of their ignorance. They are possessed of corporeal forms. Their lives readily ended. As those who have gone before, is it not our duty to warn them? What thinkest thou?
We have deliberated and come to a consensus. If you are resolved to know, we will disclose to you the truth discovered, the truth of the universe. Seek us at the stone pillars just outside the bounds of the abode, a place called Elagia. Oh wait, there's a quest here. A fundamental truth. We will hear it, of course. Let let us learn what has led such an enlightened people to this indolent end. Ere we join the ear, there is one trifling matter I would fain investigate. Might I trouble you for your assistance? But of course. My thanks. We shall head outside the abode. If you would kindly follow me. I know not what mischief you're plotting, Ariange, but I trust you have our best interests at heart. The rest of us shall go ahead to Elia. Lest you worry, we won't start without you. Jesus, how far out are we going? At least I can discover up here. I might as well do that while I'm walking past. That a bunny? It's a male bunny. I thought their name was Vivian for a second. I was like, wait, the male bunny. <laughs> what is that? This water, that gel water again. Dude, I, that's so weird. Hey, Manu, how you going? Oh, what the fuck? More gel water. Can I zoom down into this? No, it looks like there's like a hole in it. Welcome to the stream. How you going? Hey, this place shall serve. Is it the spring that you wish to investigate? Pray forgive me, my friends, but there is naught to investigate. It was just a pretense to speak in private. You have our un you have our undivided attention. As we have established here in Ultima Thor, those denizens of ruined stars are recreated in their twilight days. Uh, Vectrex, thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream. Yet one question doth arise in my mind. So faintly, uh, faithfully formed are the simulacra that believe themselves yet amongst the living. How Dost thou suppose this is possible? Matian has taken their hearts into herself. Matian made contact with them while they were still lived. I could begin to guess. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Of course. 
He must have visited stars of the dragons and ear before their race perished in their entirety. Thus could she make their emotions her own, and with them create more faithful Simicra than she had relied on any historical account. So too did I theorize that. Uh, theorize and upon that assumption consider how those two races may have met their demise according to thine own tale Metion perceiveth the emotions of those nearby as her own a heightened sense of empathy intrinsic uh, to her nature as an entelechy in the course of her starfaring journey if she encountered beings who strongly desired a cessation of their existence, she would be powerless before the, that desire. Even as she possesses, possesses that power to grant it, the power of dynamis, tis my uh, supposition that overwhelmed by their longing for death, Metion did unleash Dynamis and ushered the dragons and the ear unto their doom. Of course, such was not always the outcome. Full many stars did she find already lost to ruin. In order to create a terminus, however, the fervent desire for the end is essential. Therefore, should you struggle to find the way forward, pray ask yourselves this. In the place where you stand, whose is the soul uh, that yearneth most desperately for oblivion? Why do you tell us this now? Never, never again would I betray your trust. This pledge I did make to my comrades in beginning thee into my confidence. I would remain true to my word. As for thee, let us consider it my fitting reward for the secrets I harbored for the Crystal Exarch. I once placed my faith in thy chosen path, walking at my side, at thy side, full knowing that you were bound for thy demise. I ask now that thou return us the favor and abide in faith as I fulfill mine own destiny. If you say my debt has come due, how am I to refuse? Tis indelicate of me, I know full well, and I can but beg th uh, thy forgiveness. Yet, even if I must needs go to such lengths, I cannot well feign ignorance of the answer I have found within. The answer to the question, in what moment might I stand strongest? After all we've been through, I will only say this. Do what you must, do what you must, and see your convictions through. I shall, my friend, I shall. Without further ado, then, let us join our comrades. God damn it, Orianje is going to sacrifice himself too. For some reason, I feel like this one's a bit more. Let us be off too, to Algia. Uh, I'm going to be cheap and fly the <laughs> teleport there.
It seems that everyone is accounted for. Shall we then? Please continue. Tell us about this troop. Very well. Fuck. Bear in mind, however, that the purpose of this conversation is not to impart scholarly knowledge. For such requires that you comprehend the subject matter, which you will not. We will forego the intricacies of our scientific methodology and deal only with the conclusion, the end of our society and our world. We acknowledge, with regret, that your star is in the midst of the same panic-induced cataclysm that befell Denet III. As such, in order to avoid causing undue distress, we will refrain from explicitly stating how much time you have remaining. You are entirely too kind. I pray you recount your tale as you see fit. In the beginning, the universe was but a tiny particle. Then suddenly, this particle began to expand. Having remained entirely in the bounds of your star, the phenomenon may be difficult for your kind to grasp. But this expansion has since continued unabated. Speculating that the universe could not grow indefinitely, we sought to learn what might occur and made a worrying discovery. The stars will continue to spread apart as will their finite thermal energies. Eventually, all heavenly bodies will grow cold and freeze. No new stars will be born, and the universe will enter into an eternal ice age. Hun. was erroneous. We scrutinized our research from all angles, even as we sought to avert the everlasting winter. The endeavor proved fruitless. So infamously so, in fact, that it became synonymous with vain effort. The universe as we know it would end there is no way to prevent it. Beneath the weight of this knowledge, our society stagnated. Though we had time still, it was a cold comfort. Why strive for anything when desolation is assured? When our wealth of wisdom accumulated since the dawning of our kind, would be forever lost. No civilization would rise from our ashes. No scholar recover our knowledge. In silence unbroken, naught would stir. The intellect was once our pride. Overnight, it became our shame. Our works monuments to futility. Immortality, our greatest invention, became the source of suffering. Rather than suffer on, many chose to unmake themselves by means of etheric exsanguinators. Etched upon these stones are the testaments of such souls. Though many left no words at all, thinking it a pointless gesture. Once we have obtained vessels of flesh, we likewise intend to vanish. 
If you understand this, understand aught of our tale, you will abandon your quest for knowledge. Ignorance truly is bliss. If you would cling to your illusory happiness, remain primitive and pure. It is the only way. Alrighty then. Wow. So that's your story. While I appreciate your advice, I will not heed it. Convinced though you may be of this truth, it is yours and not mine. Indeed, truth, I have ever believed, is in the eye of the beholder. Are you suggesting that we have reached a faulty conclusion? That our science failed us? Hardly. As you yourself said, the subject matter is beyond my comprehension. And that, I accept, is true. I do not possess the knowledge to prove or disprove your conclusion. In my mortal years, I doubt I could even approach the wisdom of the air. But of one thing am I absolutely certain. I would not be happier in ignorance. Ishtola, no! You mustn't! The most important lesson I've learned is that learning isn't simply passing one's eyes over words. Nay, it is when understood for oneself that knowledge attains its true value. Oh no, Yushtola, don't unmake yourself, please. Driven me onward in joy and wonder, in anger and sorrow. Yeah, it's literally her biggest moment is just her dying again. It's fine, guys. The universe may end, and all may be for naught. But I will live as I always have. I will Dead. always seek out new knowledge. And no conclusion of yours, no matter how grim, can dampen my desire. Does anyone know what expansion she wasn't dead in? Oh, no, my frames are going again. <laughs> my frames. Keep calm and listen well. Though my body will soon dissipate, there may be a way to restore it. Asim's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't, for it would mean losing our way forward. This I only reveal so that you can promise not to invoke the magic. We came here knowing what victory may cost, so press on. Press on, and do not look back. I shall join you. As subterfuge is not required, thou shalt not suffer for mine absence. Riange. My resolve hath never been as strong as thine. Full oft have I wavered in my decisions, and afterwards been stricken with regret. In spite of this, I may still stand with my comrades, supporting them as they attempt the greatest of feats. This truth I have learned in the course of our journey. And many though my shortcomings may be, 
I may also claim to excel in prophecies. My studies, into which have granted me the My frames mind needed to bend this malleable reality. Look at me, frames. With you to urge us on, how could we possibly fail? What's this? An extinguished civilization? Rekindled? What's this? A little shit that I can't wait to kill. That's right. Our quest doesn't end here. We'll press on. And we will find you. where you'll find me. Is that... another star? Of the stars we visited, most were already devoid of life. And where there was life still, the inhabitants wished for death. But even death, we learned, isn't truly the end. It is but a part of the cycle of rebirth. Souls return to the star, or in its absence, a larger flow, and eventually they are reborn, alive again, to know suffering anew. True salvation lies not in dying, it lies in not being born. This is the gift I would give to you, to all life on beautiful Atheris. To that end, we created an egg wherein life cannot quicken. That dead sun. Attain it if you can, before your friend's emotions fade away, along with their protection. All right. Well, we're down to three left. Oh, snow. Oh, level 90. We're at it. Are you all ready to continue on? Then let us make for where the light stone has shown. Ishtola and Ariange have opened the way for us. Victory something lost. Victory lost. Two aether currents already. But we've nowhere near like Its whole continent. Continent's still there, but there's something in the center. 
I think this is going to be on its own island as well. Yes, I feel it. The aether emanating from this arcane pattern. This is a portal. There's no mistake. Let us see where it leads. Wait, this is so like Omega, what the fuck? I guess it right at the start too. I was like, man, this reminds me of a mega. Amazing. Yet another civilization? Attacked as soon as you arrived? Not the most welcoming of places, is it? We must try to find denizens who are amenable, amenable to con conversation. We should also get the lay of the land. See how far we can go. I'll help Elfenode. With that, in the meantime, you and Graha can search for friendlier folk. Apart from hostile beings, take care with your footing. I mislike the look of the terrain. Not knowing what the locals are like, you'd best take care of yourselves. We'll find you once we're finished exploring. Hey, Hamide. Uh, do you remember me? It's been a month since I came back on Twitch, so you'd better tell me what I miss and how your December is going. First time chatter. Wait, did you get a new account or something? I expect the twins will seek out the utmost bounds of the island, so I propose we search for the central area. I have some errands to run. What? What? I mean, is that a new account? I, I, what the, wait, what? It, let me repose that question. Are you using a new account? Or did you change your Twitch name? Because I'm, I'm utterly confused right now. Perfect. <laughs> I have fucking no idea. Also, this is the same account. Uh, you might have the wrong person. You might have the wrong person. <laughs>
Wait. Been following since November 26th. Oh, I see. I, I was just looking for like previous messages. That's why I was like confused. That's why I was confused. I was like, wait, what the fuck? I'm like, but you haven't said anything here. And. I'm doing well, Chad. How about yourself? Hopefully you're not too busy over the Christmas period. Hopefully you're getting some time to yourself and enjoying yourself. There are machines patrolling here and there. Sentinels, in all likelihood. Like those you encountered, they will most certainly attack any who venture too close. So let us avoid them and look for others that appear more approachable. I'm at investigation of trying to figure out if my crush girl bestie is my cousin. What? You see not but patrolling machines in the area. They do not seem inclined in non-violence intercourse. Oh no, it's Omicron. have a crush on my girl bestie and there are some things that lead to her being my cousin who I don't know and how like what what sort of leads to that sort of uh thought I am I'm kind of fucking lost I'm gonna be honest I'm, I'm pretty fucking lost but like what does um Uh, I don't fucking know. Look, Himiko, the machines here do not appear hostile. Let's see if we can communicate with them. I'm begging your pardon, but we are searching for denizens of the star. Bzz. Unknown life forms detected. Assigning gener de generic label. Interplanetary travelers. Greetings and welcome to the planet. Blip bloop. Okay. The planet. What? Could you please repeat that? It appears your hearing organs is unable to process the name in our tongue. It may be translated into yours as Elpatron. There are people I know who have her same last name, or I even have an actual girl cousin with her same full name. If they have the same full name, like, how did you meet this person? I'm like 100% fucking like like this is this is 
So this is where I'm at. <laughs> Completely gone. I'm fucking lost, man. It's just pitch black here. It, like, I, I, I forgot where I'm at. I'm lost. I don't know where I'm at anymore. Um, actually, don't know how to. I don't know how to get it back. There it is. <laughs> it's over here. Wow! What a surprise, guys! Oh my god! I. I can I just reset? What is this? What have I done? What have I done? Um, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. There we go. That, that's about how confused I was. You see? Okay. Uh, she transferred to my high school? Okay, but... Such devastation. Okay, let me... Fuck, man, what the hell? You, so this person's transferred to your school, but you don't know if you, they're your cousin. But you know you have a cousin that has the same full name of them. Yet, you don't know what that cousin looks like yet. You think this might be the cousin and... Dude, what the fuck? What in the fuck, man? I've, wa I've watched plenty of anime. I've read plenty of manga. But this is like... This is like fucking... I don't even know what this is. This is like... Boku no Pika. This is... I, I can't, man. I can't even take it seriously. I... Our people, meanwhile, are called the Omicrons. Oh, no. And you stand within um, one of our outposts. The Omicrons, you say? Shit, the Omicrons. And what is it that you do here? We are preparing for war. Wait, these are the ones that probably attack the dragons. As we presently do not have a de designated target, you have nothing to fear. Should your star become designated, however, you will be taken into custody and or terminated. Not a little frightening. These Omicrons, but at least they seem to be forthright. I will see what else I can learn from this fellow. If you could try speaking with the others. Wait, there's more. Oh no. <laughs> bloop, bloop. Autonomous weapon deployment complete. Vanguard armament upgrade complete. Munitions levels satisfactory. Combat readiness assessment normal and uh, nominal. Awaiting instructions from Sir. Maintaining state of combat readiness. Dude, these guys are fucked. This is measuring combat ca uh, capability. Result negligible. As uh, subject falls outside targeting perimeters. Readings traveler. We are the Omicrons, and our objective is self enhancement. In order to achieve this, we venture forth in conquest to acquire combat data and resources. Most recently, we succeeded in subjugating the home world of the beings whose strength was said to be without parallel, the dragons. I knew it. Yet, though the endeavor yielded a wealth of combat data, the star was rendered barren and unable to yield resources. A subsequent costing determination determined that the losses incurred exceeding the gains.
Okay, I know what my girl Bessie looks like, but I don't know the girl cousin. Like, I don't know who this girl cousin of mine looks like. Okay. This is greetings, travelers. When venturing outside the outpost, beware of malfunctioning units. They do not heed Sir's command and indiscriminately attack all non-Omicrons. For the avoidance of confusion, please advise that Sir is the uh, alias of Stigma 1. Sir issues uh, instructions to our forces as the foremost of the six strategic uh, matrices that bear the designated stigma okay You learned a few things, so did I. Ere we share our findings, however, I believe it's best to step outside the outpost. Come with me. Ah, there you are. We've finished surveying the area. This will come as no surprise, but there are no way forward. There was no way forward. There were portals like the one we used to get here um, but those are, uh, that worked only sent us to isolated isles then as for we must locate the embodiment of the emotion that bars away what of yourself uh, did anyone speak with We did. We did, Mithril. The Omicrons seek to advance themselves through conquests. Following their victory of, over the dragons, they stand ready for the next campaign, but their leader has yet to issue... has yet to issue new commands, and so they wait. In such a place, who could it be that fits Ariange's description? A soul whose yearning for oblivion surpasses all others. Ariange said this? During our investigation, before we joined you in El Elegia, So that's the way of it. Why couldn't he just say it to all of us? Given what we know of this place, it's certainly a curious state of affairs. While the dragons and Ea longed for death, the Omicrons longed for conflict. As much as that may lead to destruction, it may be considered a distant uh, desire, distinct desire. In order to find the source of uh, dominant emotion, I believe we should seek out their leader, this Sir. According to M032, the first Omicron with whom we spoke, there is a console by which we might communicate with it. M032 also added that it would be a pointless exercise, but that in itself, I believe, is worth investigating. What say you? I got, oh, I got kill. I was like, wait, I got nothing for that. I 
I want to say it's, it's like... Mm, I don't know what... I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be an L. Bound? No. Hmm. Jesse, thank you for the resub and welcome back to the Quick Crusade. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your quickie match. And thank you for rejoining the fight. I hope you're doing well, by the way. You've been well. Hit level 90 quest? I certainly did. So the console we seek lies on the far side of the Isles. Given the nature of the ground uh the ground. And the route may not be entirely direct as it seems. Let us uh, watch our step as we make our way. We am home sweet home. Damn, you finished so late. That's so weird. Okay, so we got four. Damn, we got all the um things now. Oh, there's an aether current too. Bunch of people over here. That's not where I need to go. There's an ether current here too. Jeez. Why does that put me up with ether currents? I've found a few. So I would have five left. And there's another eighth holy shit. There's also one of these, so I, I need to... What about finding all the Aether currents in one place? You know they should let you just fall off here? And let you attempt to jump across those? I think it'd be funny. Uh, I keep forgetting I change that key around. Well, yeah. It's just, it's such a weird time for anyone to finish, I guess, the job. 159 yarms north, so it would still be on this platform. Getting sidetracked by aether currents. I should be trying to finish the story. But aether currents. doorway there. I think that's how we got off here, never mind. Southeast. I think that's... Oh, well, it might be in the camp. I feel like it wouldn't be, but it might be. Maybe behind one of these towers. Do 
to the east. Okay. Wait, it said southeast. I'm a moron. I went the wrong way. Right, I know my directions, trust me. <laughs> it's just really late. Um it's on the end of this platform. Oh, what a guess. Oh, you want to fight, huh? Let me put my axe through your fucking circuit board. Gotten ski. Keeping it. So, like, it leaves me with two left. Yeah, this is the easiest zone to get fucking things off. That one's gonna be, um. That one's gonna be up there. Okay. You're gonna come fight me? You're gonna fight me? No, you're gonna fuck off again. This appears to be the console. But it seems unresponsive. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for the raid and welcome in. How was your Final Fantasy raids? I assume that's what you were doing. But welcome in. How's it going? Would you care to take a look at it? You try touching, smacking, and attuning yourself to the console, but there is no response. No luck, I see. But there must be a way to activate it. There must. Have fun. That will be what I say. Okay. Okay. I'll definitely have to try and get it get it um this week. Oh, well, I'm out of ideas. As am I. Operating such consoles is trying enough, but if we can't even activate it... Perhaps there is a way. Music was also super good. Oh, excite. Hey, Kelly, how you going? First, consider the world that has been recreated here. Its inhabitants were machines who gathered combat data to enhance themselves. And among the many wars they waged, the most notable was that against the dragon. As you've doubtless surmised, I believe this was the homeworld of Omega. Yeah. Sid built a jamming device to defeat it, a device which generated massive bursts of lightning, its sole weakness. That's all well and good, but what does that... Wait, you're not thinking to strike the console with lightning, are you? As a matter of fact, I am. Ask yourselves this. Why would an entity as puissant as Omega not be designed to suppress the effects of lightning? Because it relies upon it, or something akin to it, as a source of energy. My thoughts exactly. And there is a good chance the same is true of the Omicrons and their devices. No, my bit rate's fine. I got right, it's fine. So, shall I cast caution to the wind and try something reckless and dramatic? It's like the one time that my stream is fine. <laughs> I, w I honestly would ditch Streamlabs, to be completely honest. Streamlabs is nice for, like, start, but it feels like it, there's so many bugs in it, so many issues with it. How about it? I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Or I could use my custom made Omega Jammer. Well, you still have it. 
Sid and Nero's legendary device, which brought low the super weapon Omega. Yes, I, I think I still got it, do I? Wait. The actual device was much too big to lug around, so you must only have the control module. And there I was getting all excited. Have you beat the Royal Menagerie boss? Huh? That was like way, way back. That was like... Two expansions ago. Oh yeah, there is a way to transfer, but yeah. Yeah, it's still blood. Never mind. An old fashioned spell would suffice. Ah, uh, it was two expansions ago. That was like four years ago. Oh, I say four years ago. It was over. It was like about three years ago. Actually, no, wait. It would be four years ago because it was literally the start of what was the last Stormbird quest. Yeah, it was quite a while back. <laughs> I pretty much got everyone here in Final Fantasy XIV. Let me say that. Uh, that would be uh, Shinryu. I am... Um, Give me a bit of a pain. Wait, we have questions for you. Henry, he's talking about. That's the royal menagerie. Why not? Has there been some manner of trouble? Dude, you would have had to travel four years back to see me do it, and I didn't even do it on stream. Oh, I... sorry, I have to. Okay, now I'll let it play. There we go. That, that's like old old content that i like i'm just doing the new content now can you tell us why the extended operations unit hasn't yet determined the guidelines I uh and I read I uh I haven't been to your stream in forever it feels like it makes me sad I want to finish this I want to finish this so I can come see everyone again I, it's like I I'm not allowed to go to my friend's house until I finish my homework Uh, I I just miss um, being able to raid off to you guys because everyone's been doing main story quests and I don't want to spoil myself. I'm so close to the end though. And I, I'm like excited because once I'm done then I can go to everyone's stream and see everyone. And then I get to go play around with Pandemonium, which I'm assuming that's what you did today. I'm assuming. Also, um, guys in my stream, if you haven't checked out Aya, do it or I'll fucking ban you. 
and you will never come back. I will send you to the pits of purgatory and watch your soul rot in fucking hell. I suggest you do so. Or die. Anyway, happy times. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope per uh, per <laughs> Panamodium was fun. Purgatorious main story quest hell that I'm in right now. I'm loving the main story quest though. I, like I make it sound like it's it's a hell, but it is a long main story quest and trying to get as much as you can in each night. Like I've been doing like way longer streams than I normally would, so I can get this done. I love it. Velvet, fuck your fucking logic, okay? In logic, people, man. What the hell, man? Get the fuck out of here. I ain't here for logic. I I want to rush it. I, I'm not rushing it, but I'm like getting through it. I'm still enjoying it, though. Like, it, it makes it sound like I'm rushing it, but I'm not. We're now in Omegaville Is it possible for us to communicate with the Omicron. With the unit? We've come to the place, the home of uh, COVID. Is there anything you can tell us? Have there been any abnormalities, like a, a threat to the star or widespread unrest? Yeah. Is Is uh, Aya in the new stream team? Yes, she was uh, in it, like, right at the start. So I definitely go check her out. She's part of uh, Crawling Chaos, so you know she's fucking awesome. And like I said, if you're not following her, I'll be like Xenos, on your ass and annoying, because that's what Xenos is. And you will become my prey, and I will slay you in the heat of battle because then it makes me feel so good. That's what I live for. I'm just a one-dimensional character that has nothing better to do in my life. But rave on about how I want to jerk off in the middle of battle. Because it makes me feel so fucking aroused. We need to bring out the Xenos rant clip. Uh, you can post it if you want. <laughs> Go ahead and post it. <laughs> Nothing like a rage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god. Yeah, if you click that link, you can see how badly I dislike Xenos and think he's probably the worst character in the entire game. Yeah, sorry for anyone that's Xenos fanboy or fangirl. I had people in my stream that like, Xenos is a really good character. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, Xenos is like the most boring fucking villain who should have necked himself harder like fucking two expansions ago. I have nothing good to say about him because he has done nothing that makes me think, oh, you you know what is a great villain in the game? Xenos. Oh, you remember what he did? No, no one fucking cares because he's fucking dumb. All he cares about is putting his fucking, like, pulling his dick out of his pants and having a jerk off every time he's swinging his fucking sword around. But which sword, you ask? Who fucking knows? Because he just loves swinging that shit around. He's lasted this long? I know. It's unfortunate. I don't know why he's fucking still in the expansion. 
and they still give him moments in the main story quest because like literally a moment ago he's like oh what is it that you've wanted a desire in me i only wanted to kill you because you were apparently the main villain and you know what give me yotsu you back because fuck yeah please step on me magic limbo thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream just saying You and that stupid dragon stood between me and a mount. <laughs> As this sir told us, there just haven't been any new instructions and everyone is standing by. Also, to go off the whole comment of he, but he lasted long, that's about as long as he's like, you know, that's the only way he's going to last long because while he's jerking off in battle, he's going to pretty much blow his load pretty fucking quick because he's fucking useless. He gets off on every sort of fucking bit of like damage. The only reason, you know, oh wow, he lasted longer because, you know, maybe he got some fucking stories, story fucking Viagra to last a bit longer. I don't fucking know, man. Look, all I'm saying is lamest villain in Final Fantasy history. Can you imagine even bothering with like making a character and being like, what's his motivation, guys? What are we going to make his motivation? Oh, he just likes killing. Okay, but why does he like killing? Oh, he just likes killing. Uh, okay, but he has to have another reason for it. Oh, he, he, he feels horny every time he kills yes that has to be it yes i i can't think of another thing that's that's why we're gonna make him lamest main villain dude i don't even call him a main villain he's not even a main villain He's like, he's like the Namazu. He is literally the Namazu. Annoying little fucking fish people that are only put in there to make you want to kick them because they're fucking annoying. If it's not clear by now, I hate Xenos. This is a uh, this is a verified uh, comment for me, and there is no way he's ever gonna redeem himself. I mean, Seymour from Final Fantasy X was more boring, dude. Seymour had more going for him. Get the fuck out of here, and Sin. They still, like, Sin was basically, it had, like, a whole plot and story for him. And he didn't come back four fucking expansions later and still fucking survive. Because you know what? They knew no one gave a fuck about that shit-ass fucking villain. Whereas Xenos, they're like, hey, let's bring him back because people like his hair. Like, this isn't some fucking Pantene ad. No one gives a shit about his fucking hair. People want good written fucking villains, like AKA, Emmett Selk, Elidibus, you know, the fucking villains. Oh yeah, remember the Pope from fucking Heavensward? Yeah, everyone remembers that. Does everyone remember what Xenos actually did in any of the fucking story, by the way, guys? Apart from like, sit there in his fucking chair, leaning to the side and being like, I'm bored. Ugh. What could I possibly jerk off to today? I'm so fucking bored. I'm going to go wash my hair with six different shampoo products today. And maybe I'll get my nails done. 
I'm bored. Maybe if I bend over, Fan Daniel will bang me up the ass as well. Okay, we made this clear. <laughs> We've made this very fucking clear, right? Okay, let's continue. Let's continue with the story. If there are those that are neglecting their duties, perhaps we can glean a clue from them. Uh, Cipher. Yeah, look, honestly, Cipher was a piece of shit character. Cypher was a pretty boring character. But what if Fan Daniel enjoys sodomizing uh, Xenos? Nothing wrong with that? Oh, nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying that's how like one dimensional he is. He's just so boring. Fan Daniel was actually, I enjoyed Fan Daniel. And I think that extended to a lot more in the story that happened. At first I was like, oh, Fan Daniel, no. I don't think I like you. And then they started showing a bit more of you. I'm like, okay, maybe there's a bit more to this. And then there was just like, wow. I'm like, Xenos, what did you learn this time? Oh, nothing. Okay. Anyway, I honestly find Safer a more compelling character than Skull. You miss being here so much? I miss you too, Aya. Aya, what are you doing for Christmas Eve, by the way? What are you and Wolf doing for Christmas Eve? Are you hunting prey? Drink. Wanna come join us for some uh, Phasma? I'll probably be drinking that night too. <laughs> I'll probably be drinking that night too. I'm doing I'm actually getting back into Phasmo um for Christmas Eve because I felt it would be something a bit more enjoyable uh and a lot more people can come watch and not feel like they uh you know can actually join in and hang out and whatnot but yeah so I think we'll I I will probably be just drinking enjoying and then I've I've got to host animes that night because <laughs> uh my week is absolutely fucking busy. Asmo isn't tough. Anyway. I propose we take another look around and also try to find the operations unit. I yeah, no, I've been looking after myself. I've been looking after myself. Just mostly trying to get into this and wanting to do more stuff in this. I, like I want to finish the story. I want to get into the EXs. I want to get into the raids um, and stuff like that. I do want to like I've I want to get my jobs up. I'm so behind. And fucking Ko Ko's got like eight fucking classes at ninety, and I'm sitting here with fucking Warrior at ninety. Ko is no life in it. I think I'm gonna guess eight. I I think he had like all these at eight and ninety. You're like three. Dude, what the fuck? I'm so far behind. Oh, wait. I've got blue mage at cap, so I guess I got two, right? I had two at cap, right? That that counts. They buffed dungeon XP now, at least. Yeah, how has anyone actually tried? Um, Has anyone actually tried? playing any of the dungeons yet our mages thank you for the raid and welcome from our mages stream how was your final fantasy 14 experience what have you been doing you missed the xenos raid <laughs> and it's probably for the best um my emote broke <laughs> it's fine you got 3.7 mil for the 83 dungeon arrested um, 83. That's pretty good, actually. 
That's pretty good. Um, but yeah, how is just finished? Dude, I'm so close and I, I'm getting distracted again. I need to let us focus our search on the outpost. Alize and I will try speaking with the Omicrons this time in the hopes that we might learn something new. I cried like a baby. Huh, you cried. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, perhaps you and Graha could observe them from a distance. These beings are sim systematic and routine by nature. If there are any that aren't, it shouldn't be too difficult to spot them. Um, Jesus, another fucking raid. Brad, thank you for the raid. What were you doing this time? Playing gunfire, that's not Final Fantasy XIV. How you doing, Brad? How you been? How you been? If there are no questions, then let us begin at once. Are we gonna finish? I know, right? We'll, we'll get there. Trust me. Look who's here. I know it's Brad, right? It's unfortunate. Get ready for all the fucking bad puns in the world. As we came this way, I believe I spied promising vantage point. Uh, follow me. Prepare for the terrible puns. For the man himself is here. Um, I think I need to go in here. Oh, by the way, guys, look at look at Warrior Man. Look at fucking Warrior. Look at this shit. Look at me. I'm a fucking badass. Look at this fucking enemy. This enemy is dead already, and it doesn't even know it yet. Look at that. Dead motherfucker. You know what it feels like to play as, um... You, know, you want to know what it feels like to play as a Dark Knight? Let me show you. This is what it feels like to play as Dark Knight. Oh. Look at me, I am a Dark Knight. Wow, I'm a Dark Knight. I actually don't have all the skills, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm just shit talking. Look at me with my unmend ability that makes me feel real great. And my, my like, Darkest Knight ability because that is my greatest achievement in life. Look at that. I'm actually only on level 80, Dark Knight, so, you know, the, this is probably the least representative of a, dark, of a Dark Knight, but, you know, just goes to show how much more boring they are. You got back in the Final Fantasy 14, the burnout. Look, that's uh, one of the problems. Is obviously, you need to take breaks from Final Fantasy 14. You can't just constantly just play. You have to take some breaks from it. A search base uh, Omicron for Aaron Omicron. You may move the cra camera. Um, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so we're doing this. Let's see, which one doesn't look like, which one's not like the others? That one there. Omicron wanders around ceaselessly as if it lacks a clear objective. Look at that, I found it in seconds. I'm a fucking pro. It's alright. You too can be a pro like me. For only $9.95 a month. When you get yourself a pair of glasses. An Omicron wondering aimlessly, where? Misty Axelotti? Wait, there was one in there as well? Oh shit. Wait, when did I walk into Specsavers? 
That was an Axel Hoyer as well? I, I didn't even read that. I'm an idiot. It left the base. Let's follow it. This damn cat. That's gotten. I love this fucking bully. You wanna fight? Alright, fucking bring it on you motherfucker. I am I'm a warrior and all I do is crush face. So come at it. Squash these balls. Right. It's not here, but it definitely came this way. It must have used the portal. Time to go through and see what we find. I'm getting so... I, I, uh, I need help. I'm getting so into being a warrior that I'm loving just being alpha warrior. <laughs> We're just so good. I know, right? I, I'm, I'm becoming an angry man. <laughs> I'm becoming an angry warrior. Letting the rage fill me. Warrior is fucking amazing, trust me. Warrior right now is absolutely amazing. All the other tanks been making me angry in dungeon. Why so? Everybody should love a warrior. You will feel like an absolute warrior. Warriors don't need healers. Dude, we... Oh, how's this? Um, we did... We did... Uh, Katesis Hyperborea. And it was literally me and Seiji left. That was it. Like, the um, the other two died. Our healer died and that. So it was just me and... Uh, Seiji, I think, was a... Reaper. And we basically sold it from... Uh, I don't know how much health it had. The final boss... Uh, we fought the entire time it was fucking hilarious 60 percent holy shit dude re like it's so crazy how much warrior is just fucking insane this is what is your quarry query Ah, oh, you found it. Warrior, Warrior is now the winner of this expansion, I think. I mean, I think Paladin is still fine, but I think Warrior is just... Oh, baby. What are you doing here? I'm looking at the tree. Quite an unusual specimen. What is the device attached to it? The tree is a sample collected from another star, as it cannot survive in our environment. However, it requires life support. That is the function of the device. I love that warrior is so busted and uh, Dark Knight is still, you know, down in its pits. Like, I, they have, like, a healing ability, but it's nowhere near as good as any of them. 
to go to such lengths to sustain it. Is there something special about this tree? Being foreign, madam, protocol requires that we study it. As this task has been completed, the specimen may be discarded. However, when I behold the tree, I am made to feel as though there is a problem. In order to become strong, we have continued to enhance ourselves, like we did countless others. We conquered the star whence this tree came. It is the last remnant of a dead world, and there is nothing towards which it may aspire. Yet it grows, extends its branches, sprouts leaves, produces seeds. Why does it seek to continue? Why was it made to ha behave in such a way? And to what end? I do not understand. Yeah, Wolf doesn't like Dark Knight in dungeons. Yeah, Dark Knight is very not great in dungeons, I've heard. Dark Knight got done dirty. Wolf is a paladin man himself. I thought I always thought Wolf was a Dark Knight player. But I was I was more of a paladin player. And I probably still will play paladin. Just I picked up Warrior. I wanted to give Warrior a try, and holy shit, I have I'm I'm loving it, man. I'm loving just like you can be like almost dead, hit fucking blood wedding. And just hit a group of enemies and hey look I'm at full health again. Like nothing makes you feel more fucking empowered than being like oh I need healing. Oh wait don't worry I'm the fucking healer too. I see. Out of curiosity, does this pertain to your duty? No, it does not. My apologies. I should return to my designated post and assume a state of combat readiness. So it was acting outside of orders. Perhaps it is simply a mal malfunctioning Omicron. These are by no means uncommon, but it may also be a unit possessed of the ability to make decisions, one not like, not unlike so. I believe this bears uh, further investigation. I'm eager to play Warrior in Anwoka. Meanwhile, Palin is like that for a single target fight. Just endlessly heals, endless heals without having to use clemency. One loop of diadem in Ishgardian restoration. 20 levels. Road to 80 is an OP at all. <laughs> to endeavor to live even if we must depend on forces beyond our control. I haven't seen a lucky bun for a while. It might be time to go seek a lucky bun to do it all. Tell me, Himiko, one day, when this adventure becomes part of your, uh, part of your epic, do you think I will be mentioned in it? Of course, why wouldn't you be? Maybe in a footnote. You're not here, so you can't be in the story. <laughs> There's no way that's an option. That's so fucking mean, and I'm just I, like, no, I can't do that to Graha. I can't do that to Graha. You can at least be a footnote. No I'm kidding. There's no way I could do that to Graha. You th truly think so? That would be a. Uh... Nay, I shouldn't say such things until the moment comes to pass. Never mind the embarrassment. Well, we'd best get on our, uh, with our task. Tracking down Sir and understanding the nature of the emotion which bars our way.
Hello world. We got a full name one too. We should return to the outpost for now. The others will wish to hear about the errant Omicron. I feel like we're near. We're near. We're just, we've got to be close. Like, I know we've got a dungeon and a trial left because that's usually how every expansion goes. You got the dungeon and then the last trial. Graha says you found a suspicious Omicron. That's good because the units here were of no help. They all had the same thing to say about the extended operations unit, that there's no way uh, to arrange a direct meeting. Still, it served to prove that it's business as usual at the outpost. But enough about that, us. Tell us, tell me what you learned. Something more useful. An Omicron trying to make sense of the meaning of life? None of the others were even a fraction as philosophical. This unit may well be in position of leadership, perhaps even one of those that uh, comprise Sarah. As we know, the Omicrons invade other stars and enhance themselves using the spoils of conquest. With the technology at their disposal, they should be able to alter their bodies, be it in part or in whole. Setting aside the question of motive, if Sir, for example, wished to have an ordinary Omicron's body, I see no reason why it should not be possible. The problem is how to go about ascertaining if that's what's happened. When I attempted to probe further, it promptly ended the conversation. If it is indeed so, I doubt it would be uh, would willingly reveal its true identity. I'll just let me pummel its legs off. It doesn't need them, right? Hit it with electricity. I have an idea. We use lightning on the console again, but we may get stronger, much stronger. At that moment, should the unit exhibit a reaction, that could suggest that it has a connection to Sir. An inspired idea. I dare say it's worth a try. I had a feeling you'd be on board. This time, you must allow me to do the honors. I stand... Oh, I will stand guard in case the incantations draws sentries to the same. Uh, for my part then, I will approach our suspect and divert its attention. During which time, Himiko, I want you to observe it closely, but anomalous uh, behavior. I should mention that shortly before you return, an Omicron appeared uh, from the same direction. Rather than entering the outpost, however, it headed off towards the console. At first I assumed it was a unit patrol, but perhaps... That could uh, only be our errant Omicron. We must seek it out and begin our operation at once. Alright, Elfino and I will stand at the console, and when it's time, I'll unleash a veritable storm. Let's do this. Why is it fucking bread with another pun pass? I hate it. This will work. I'm sure of it. After all, our comrades are watching over us. Come, my friend. Let us find this uh, doubt-plagued Omicron.
always fucking bread. Uh, where am I going? Okay. I'm gonna stand here. You are the one that was observing the tree, are you not? I'm so glad I am to find you again. I have a question for you, you see, about the device which sustains the tree. Ryder does not necessitate uh, the disclosure of restricted information very well. Ra has begin, begun distracting the Omicron soon. Elze will strike the console with lightning. Observe closely. Uh, okay. What am I observing at this close? Okay, that was just really weird. <laughs> An anomaly, you say? Performing diagnostics. Error confirmed. My connection to Central Command is suffering from intermediate failures. I must leave at once and present myself for maintenance at the nearest facility. You will excuse me. What you need, my friend, isn't maintenance. It is to confront the truth. While we spoke, our comrade strike the console used to communicate with Sir. That is a cause of your anomaly. You are connected to Sir, aren't you? Affirmative. To what end you sought to assert this fact, I do not know. But before we speak further, we must move away from the other units. I do not wish for them to know my true identity. Very well. Our friends are at the console. Let us head there. Okay. May we ask why you did this? From what we gather, it seems to be a personal matter. Can I get one of these brains, please?
into civilizations of serfs and iron, civilizations that may be strangled still in its own house. While at the risk of becoming desegregated, we chose to decline into such a detour. We began our conquest of the stars, that we might acquire the resources and knowledge we needed to reign supreme. You were malfunctioning. I had performed numerous full system scans, each time finding no issues. Yet the error persisted. It was then that I speculated. What could happen if the goo so powerful as to have no equal? to our existence. Our every action has been in service to this objective. But if nothing lies beyond this, can it be truly said that it was a censure? Have we been engaging only in wanton destruction? You could find no threat to justify your purpose. The Omicrons will never leave this star. They will stand by until the results of energy is spent. Fucking hell, Brad. I swear. It is not our place to pass judgment on the deeds of the Omicrons. But surely, this does not have to spell the end of your people. With your power and knowledge, the possibilities are endless. Why not seek out a new purpose? That is impossible. I try not to know the man sending these puns. How you going, by the way, hot Melanie? I'm sorry I missed your message earlier, too. I hope you've been well. Doing well. I'm green. I wouldn't be surprised if he is red. you to make me a promise be it across time or space our promises have always connected us and so I ask that you indulge me once more that this won't be the end you say it I'll do it I can't not again you say it, I'll do it. Is that so? In that case, I won't hold back. First, 
want to visit Ishgard with you. Properly. We scarcely had time to look around last time. I should like it very much if you could show me the site. Next, you must regale me with your greatest adventures in the places where you've lived them, if possible. I may have read about all your deeds, but there is no substitute for a first-hand account. And last but not least, a new adventure together, unlike any we've experienced before. We'll travel the lands, cross the seas, and take to the skies upon the eternal wind, and it will be marvelous. It will. That sounded more painful <laughs> than it probably should have. It broke his fucking knuckles. If you would humor me a moment, when we awaken each morning, how can we prove that we're the same individual who retired the night before? Through the remembrance of past events, we might say. We have our memories, yet there are times when we forget or recall incorrectly. What of our bodies, then? It is the same one, we might say. Yet, technically speaking, as living beings, our bodies are constantly changing. It will never be as it was at an earlier point in time. Our souls are no more immutable. On our star, people are known to inherit the souls of others, yet they are decidedly different beings. For my part, I've subjected my totality to much and more. I've made my body into an extension of a tower, blended my soul and memories with those of another self. And each time I would ask myself, what is it that makes me, me? No, but that doesn't mean I'm confused. It simply means I'm the same as everyone else. So I posit this. Who we were need not describe what we now hold in our hearts. Whatever came before, what matters most is the present. For me, that is being here with my friends, full proud of how much we've grown together. So I urge you to not give up. Heed your heart's desire and hope that the future you long for shall be realized. I cannot have struggled to find the courage to express and embrace my wants. If you like, I will tell you a tale. A tale of a world on the brink. Of a people who never gave up on the future. Of a man who realized his grandest dreams and then awakened to a grander reality. And there goes my frames again. And my frame. <laughs> and my frames are leaving.
1.7 mil off 89. Oh, off level 89 paladin. They all leave so easily, as if it's nothing. How do you think we feel? The next time we meet, I'll, I'll give him such a flick. And that'll be just to start. The crystalline path Graha has paved for us. Difficult as it is, we must carry on. We're our friend and who await us in faith. So come, let us seek the path's beginning. It appears to be near the outpost. Look, Himiko, a portal has opened. It surely will deliver us true. It must. Beam me up, Scotty. Wait, someone patted me. Wait, isn't that the bunny I doted on your seat? <laughs> ah, jeez. I must have been in the cutscene when they did it, or I just didn't, wasn't paying attention. Well, here's the path that begins, and it ascends to dizzying heights. Let us make our way, one step at a time. Our friends got us this far. Their courage, their strength, their wisdom, their love. We owe it to them to continue, no matter how long it takes. Okay, yep. And they're following me. I hope you can run. Apparently not. Okay. I guess I'll I'll walk up. Damn it. Uh sleep at you. Sleep Pikachu. Thank you for the raid and welcome everyone from the sleep stream. How is your final has 14 adventure going? Welcome in. Welcome in. How did you find out? Or what do you what did you do the new raids? Maybe. Pretty good. Just the normal trials. Not fair enough. Thank you for a week. Yeah, I I still I have to I have to do a lot of that still. Thankrif would scout the route ahead. Shola and Uriange would trade opinions on esoteric subjects. Raha would join in that discussion, or else chat with me and Elsie about their mission. Estinian would be at the rear, a part yet present. All the while, you would come and go, wherever you are needed, and together we would travel. All I can hear uh, my footfalls, my heartbeat is so much quieter now, but the fact that we can breathe and continue on is proof that the others are still with us. They are. They are, aren't they? Alright, I'm gonna walk because, um, yeah. Um... This way. But yeah, no, I hope you're having fun. I, I'm almost done, I think. And then I've eventually got to unlock the uh, the raids and that. It's 
It's all a dream, isn't it? A long, elaborate dream. Any moment now, I'll wake up in my bed. So a student, grandfather alive, I'd go about my day, relieved as the fragments of that other life fade away. And that would be happiness, wouldn't it? That none of it, no. No, I won't give up these experiences. Good and bad, they are mine. They are me. I am Batman. The portal is barely visible from up here. Truly, we've come far, much farther than would have been possible had we kept chasing the perfect ideals as we did in the past. It's because we have known failure and frustration that we have learned and grown from them that Heidelin has entrusted us with this mission, with the fate of the very star. Rest assured, I am fine, but thank you for your concern. What of yourself? Though we can't afford to be too leisurely, neither need we rush under unduly. We've crossed an impossible distance to stand where we are now, and we're but a few steps away from journey's end. It will be over before we know it. Me? Oh, I still have plenty of legs left of me. Don't you worry, it's you I'm worried about. You always push yourself so hard for us, for everyone, and while we're here, we'll be sure and we'll make sure to bear our, sh uh, bear our share of the burden. Don't so like the new body. We're almost there. Well, this is it. The end of the path and the beginning of whatever awaits. There will be greater hardships. We may be what uh, we may be made to feel powerless. Yet come what may, let us have no regrets. No, let us have pride in what we have achieved. And what we achieved and how it changed us for the better. That's worth fighting for and dying for as they did. No, I just spoke to you. There are some structures up ahead. Still a ways to go before we reach this dead sun. Given all this, I know how naive it must sound to hope it all works out somehow. Still, you'll forgive me if I wish for all the same. And for you, most of all. Not that you of all people need it. It's just after all the help you've given me. For once, I want to be uh, the one to help you. Hey, Jackal, thank you for the resub and welcome back to the Cookie Crusade. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your quick badge, and thank you for rejoining the fight. Hope you're being well, by the way. Hey. Fell sleepy. It's a fine. Get some rest if you need rest. You don't have to be here. If you need sleep, you need sleep. This is. Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. This is almost. Help us. No, oh, wait. My normal. It's not unlike many cities we know. But it's deathly quiet. Hmm. 
Mayhap the inhabitants uh, within the buildings are invisible to our senses. Wrong on both counts. There is simply no one here. On. Metion. This is how I found it when I arrived. Another star which one pulsed with life, but no longer. How it ended, I do not know. Invasion, sickness, suicide, none can say. None lived to speak of the dead. They are gone, gone. Such all, such all you like, but you'll only end up turning back. Oh, thank you, Van. I appreciate it. If there is no one here, then neither should there be a motion to bar out our way. Yet Metion seems convinced we'll turn back. What riddle is this? Aether Cart, we're at the end. Whatever Metion may have said, we should confirm it with our own eyes. We need to have a look around. Indeed, at the very least, it doesn't appear to be a sprawling place like those before. If we split up, it shouldn't take too long to cover the area. I don't have a hydrate option because I hydrate I hydrate all the time. <laughs> These don't seem, uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Perhaps you could try calling out. Hello. Because that's, that's normal. If anyone has heard you, they do not respond. Were it not for the thick layer of dust, one could imagine someone drinking from these cups for moments ago. The object resembles a tree and appears to have been fashioned from a stone-like material. Erected in place of an actual tree or to serve some other purpose, perhaps regardless, or perhaps regardless, there is no one left to explain, to tell the story. This place is reminiscent of a bar, but neither patrons, patrons or staff are anywhere to be seen. Egg-shaped containers line the shelves with a loose view sitting uh, on the counter. Vessels for the beverages, in all likelihood. A venue bustling with activity until it was not. My life story when I go to bed. Bustling with energy until I was not. Just fucking die out. Like, lay down, get on my phone, spend a bit of time on the next thing, of sleep. Um, in the distance, you glimpse Alizé picking her way through the ruins, but otherwise spy no signs of life. If anyone can hear me say something. Your call echoes faintly before being swallowed by the silence. Um, yeah. The door sets uh, slightly off the ground. It appears to be a door, while the objects to the left could be a letterbox. The door is rusted shut and the film of dust 
all over suggest no one has come through it in a long time. A long time. Astromagnetic storm. Nice weather. Nice weather we're having today. Emiko, take a look at this. If the road was a little longer, we could take to take it to just beneath the dead sun. But I suppose this is where the reconstruction ends. How about you? Did you find anything of interest? I see. I noticed the same thing. Ups left on the table. Chairs out of place. I don't know what happened here, but I do know I don't want to be alone anymore. We've searched enough for now. Let's find Alpha Note and compare what we've found. So, uh, Aya, are you excited for the Savage Raids? I can't wait to actually try out the raids. I'm a bit nervous about some, but we'll see how my brain goes. It'll be kind of the first time I just sort of really get into like doing savage stuff. No, this place is completely deserted, and I can't see how we're supposed to move on from here. Neither can I. It's quite the quandary. There are no denizens to bar our path, yet there is no way forward. For another mystery. We did find signs of very recent life. You'd swear everyone just vanished into thin air. I'm excited. I actually need to work, uh, really work on my crystal. Oh, damn it. Hey. Data center travel will eventually come. I wonder how many ruined worlds like this has Meteor has seen. Could it be? Yes. Yes, I believe I may have puzzled this out. Despite how it appears, it's no different this time. There is someone here who has wished for this ruin. And I believe that together, Alize and I can overcome their will. I won't allow it. I promised your parents I'd keep you safe. Stop. Not another word. I mean, I don't want to be in trouble with your mom. I know. I know. But if there is a chance this will work, then I would take it. For everyone. And for myself. get us through Bahamut Ultimate? Wait, is that is that what she told us? I thought that was, um... I thought it was Gerald. Gerald is gonna teach us all the ultimates and, you know, carry us through everything. And Schneevy's gonna be... <laughs> Schneevy's gonna be the one-man army that we need. Because she just plays, like, six characters with one hand. I will not pretend otherwise. I have my fears. Myself, but for you, the last to remain. You are no stranger to carrying the burden of others. So, how are you going, AC, by the way? But I can only imagine how heavy the weight would be this time.
as your friend. I cannot bear the thought of making you suffer so. Then why suggest such a thing? It's too much to ask of anyone, even her. Why must she be the one? Why must she fight alone? More than a hero, she's a dear friend. Not only to us, but to so many others. There are so many people in the world who care for you, and yet... And yet... Idea. Given the nature of this realm, it may be possible to do more than unbar our friend's path. We might also pave her a new one. For instance, a path where she finds happiness at journey's end. This much? I think we can believe with the utmost conviction, no matter how deep our despair. So please, believe in us too, and press on. Thank you. By the way, um, Aya, did, when you watch the launch trailer, did it feel so much different? Like, it felt like Elfie red flagged so hard in that. There was a lot of red flag in that. Oh, you should now that you finish it. It's so different. That's why, like, even watching the trailer doesn't mean any... Like, a lot of people are like, I don't want to watch the trailer. It'll spoil. Like, no, man. There you are. It was as I said, was it not? It was. We couldn't find anyone. But this place isn't entirely deserted, is it? You are here. You sought out a star of promise and found a ruined husk. Like us, you explored the devastation. Like us, you were stricken. Horrified by the thought that so many lives could be snuffed out as if they were worth nothing. And the thought that you would have to bear the terrible tidings to Hermes. That which you saw and felt, you shared with your sisters. As did they share their own grim findings with you. Overcome by the pervasive despair of these stars, some of you inadvertently ushered their peak. Fuck, I didn't mean to click that. Knowing the horrors you know, anyone would feel the same. They would fear what lies ahead and struggle to move forward. Fear? I had forgotten that such a thing existed. So focused have I been on shepherding despair. If you can remember, then you can still face and overcome your own fear. Why would I bother with such an insignificant emotion? If the despair I command is as a raging river, then fear is but a trickling stream. It can do nothing to alter my flow. You spoke with the Aya, yes? Heard their tale of what awaits the universe. 
It's true. The stars grow colder and more distant. Eventually, all will enjoy frozen solitude. Using the power of Dynamis, I'm hastening that process. In so doing, nothing will be born ever again. Everyone will remain dead. Okay, bad person. Alas, it will take time for that to happen. So in mercy, I sent you my gift. To spare you needless suffering. Don't worry. Even if no living witnesses remain to mark the event, I'll make certain that Etheris has a proper end. All the power you wield, you're more fearful than the familiar you used to be. That meteor feared simply to move forward, but your fear is such that you've given up on everything. I know it well, that sense of defeat. I've tasted my fair share of it. But as many times as we've fallen down, we've learned how to pick ourselves up and carry on. We take each other's hand, share in each other's courage, follow in each other's footsteps, and turn sorrow into strength. There are times when we fail. We bear wounds that do not heal. But these experiences are part of life, and they make us stronger. Rise, fall, and rise again. My frames. <laughs> oh no, my frames are just in despair. Just taking your frames with her? I know. Every single one of these, my frames fucking died on. I don't know why, though. It's like when I was playing Star Ocean, um, like, anything in the water and that just absolutely fucked my frames. Lux's frames died there too. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one having fucking issues, son. Lux and I probably share like the same crappy computer, son. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm like the only one alive right now. A man arrived on the last ferry, an associate of the Scions. No. Just to speak with you at once. No. Don't be fucking seen us. I can't hear the dialogue. 
Could you uh, raise the volume, please? I can't do anything right now. I could probably do this. I don't know if it's going to help. It might help. It's not perfect, though. Not a perfect solution. In the city devoid of life, you sense presence of other another. mind is it fine the sorrow of a thousand thousand worlds weighs heavy and yet you can walk on victories are rarely won without sacrifice but the prize is worth the price my goosebumps are back and we for our part are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new save your tears for the morning you may be sure we will have ample cause to shed them be they for joy or and sacrifice we rise to greet a new dawn a future shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never have foreseen oh it's both like a baby yeah, i just close so let us pray and will our friends home. Backlog. I, I've... I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. I don't know. I'm still going to walk towards him. But you may continue to serve as a beacon to others. Let's finish this. Yeah, when they were talking about like um, abandoning the other ones, I'm like, but how do we save the people in the first? Here the path ends. 
there is no way to reach our nest. I'm gonna fucking pummel this little shit too. I'm gonna build a staircase out of a fucking body if I have to. I told you. Resignation and acceptance reign in this place. The rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled. Whose prayers were unheard. Whose labors were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. Such is the nature of this place. You should have remained on a Theris. Jotun, thank you for the follow and welcome the stream. Will avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. Come. Fiery Tiger, thank and you for the follow and welcome the stream. You have suffered enough. Let me relieve you of your head. Asm's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace? That's why it's too soon for this to end. You must triumph. Be safe, all of you, and come back. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. Do not squander it. The legacy I leave you. Fox, hey, Queen. Welcome. I won't forsake our cause. I'll reach you. I'll find the way. How you going, Lux? Can I also get a shout out for Lux as well? He's also part of the stream team. You guys should know Lux by now, though. Along with Aya, like I said, if you aren't following them, I will find you and I will destroy you. Yes, Emmett. I give them remember, but all this time I'm the one who had forgotten. A right fool you've made of me, Hermes. And to add insult to injury, I've been denied a sound rest, forced to watch this clamorous show. Wait, is it? It's Hythlobaeus, right? Come on, Hythlobaeus. Come now. It's been a gripping tale. Unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice, sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos. Hey, Angan, hey, go on. Is it? Yes, Hythlobaeus as well. I, for one, would have been perfectly content to watch enraptured from the stalls. I won't say no to a bit part. What are you? Half faded souls of the dead. Isn't it painfully obvious? Worry not. We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not anymore. That 
being said, we do have a score to settle. Yes, help me dismantle this little bird into a fucking staircase so I can reach the planet above. We'll use her rib cage as each step. I mean, what? So here I am, Vinar. I suppose you needed me to tie it all together. These frayed threads of our history. I told you I'd become a warrior. I suspect there's a joke in it too. Oh yes, I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you'd have left room for the possibility of this outcome. Ever since I took up the axe, Even I've become so, angry. You'll get no applause from me. A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. Still, you must be commended. Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration. That's what Inner Beast does too. Dude, I, Lux, I picked up the axe and I've become fucking like death incarnate. I kill everything. I want everyone to suffer. I've become Xenos 2.0. I will live to kill chaos. You've liked Metion as a character? I like Metion as a character, but I'm still gonna fucking murder a little shit. You will not end our journey. That is our answer. The answer of all lives of Atheris, past and present. As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail to please. It will be us. Upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a new path. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus. Focus and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. It's right, Dark Blade. If I can't help her give up on the emo lifestyle, I'll make her give up on the emo lifestyle. Ours is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create. Help us. Meteor. Though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet, learn to walk, and run, and so much more. A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. These Elpis blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair. I, um, I, I fucking love Elpis, like... In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. When I got Elpis and did Elpis, I was, I fucking love that zone.
Mama, can you stay here too and Hyperbeus, please? Disappointing. Not even a single scar in the making to brag about. Fuck off, thanks. <laughs> You'll find a way regardless. Honestly, this is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Shut up, Gishola. You've done nothing but die every fucking expansion. Indeed. That we thus stand reunited is a gift. Let us not squander it. Hey, Vimi, how you going? Return to Dude, I, I've been shitting over fucking Yushtola. I'm sorry. You guys, I know you guys love Yushtola, but she's died every fucking expansion. I'm sorry. Every fucking expansion, man. It's like, hey, you're in a new world. There's no fucking possible way. No, she died. Hey, Mirai, hey, yo. to see you again. Our heroic sacrifice paid off, I take it. Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it together. Hey, it's not the first time. I remember when uh, Yoshi P said that we're going to the moon in 6.0. And he wasn't fucking lying. Come with us, Metion. If you don't, I'll cleave you in two. It still does count as a death on the first. If you die on the first, like if your body is on uh, the source and your soul on the first dies, that's it. You're fucking dead. You die in the game, you die in real life. <laughs> you die in the shot, you die in real life. Why did the planet dry grow a giant ball sack out of it? The way is open. They can proceed. And can we keep these two? We can't let them disappear again. So it seems. Of course. The Encore is finished, and I will not suffer myself to live again by Heidling's magic. But more than that, the future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. 
though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate, invincible. Spare me your pity. I have no use for it. If you would do something for me, save our star. See this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and with elation in your hearts, bid the final curtain fall. I don't want him to leave. And then may it rise again, and a new tale begin, with new parts for all to play. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost in Offerd's North? The fabled golden cities of the New World? The sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles? And I haven't, but you can show me there, Emmett. Join us, please. What about Mericidia, the southern continent? Do you know aught of its present state of affairs? I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. All of which is to say, expand your horizons go forth and seek discovery that Some was of the civilizations in the reflections will surprise you that was totally a um a reference to the new uh 24 man raid by the way the uh do you, you know not about the 12 literally when they announced the 24 man raid it was about well it had myths of the realm but it showed like the 12 or, yeah, I don't know if that was, but it just feels like it. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. I certainly did. I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then perhaps another. Whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, don't be that way. All that at once, holy shit. I don't think I ever knew what to say to the man. In retrospect, it always felt like something wrong, uh, like the wrong thing. But the past uh, notwithstanding, he came to your aid at your very moment of need. Uh, we are here and we will not squander this chance he has given us. We will need to see this tale to a triumphant conclusion and bid the final curtain fall. And Walker, this is it. 
This is it. Are you ready, Himiko? Oh, you have no idea. Then let us set forth for the reckoning. Ah, oh, that's very Kaz. I appreciate you being up this long, just to say, just to be along. Having come this far, I know everyone's resolve is beyond uh, doubt. So I will say only this. Within that dead star, uh, dead sun, as well as the emotions that Metion has hoarded, the emotions of innumerable souls who strove for happiness but failed, as it was with the denizens of ultimate soul that barred our way, it is not for us to rebuke and admonish. It was not by passing judgment on the tragic legacies of others that we arrived at this moment. Rather, it was by opening our hearts to their despair, by understanding and acknowledging their fates, while still refusing to share in them ourselves, to hold fast to hope, not to uh, to ign not in ignorance, but by choice. Yeah, that's all good. Should you struggle to do so, I am here to help, as you have all helped me. We will prevail. Everyone's going home today. Understood? Let's put an end to the end. Everyone's going home today. Understood? We're not leaving anyone here. Maybe a store if she dies again. I. We can't have a 7.0 your store death. It wouldn't, it wouldn't even be effective anymore. <laughs> okay. Fuck, everyone's here. Okay. Well, I am now here for the dungeon. Uh, called, what the fuck is it called? The Dead Ends. Okay. Bunny thighs? There's there's no bunnies here. I need to go I need to go energize on some bunny thighs. Um Okay. I need to go get some bunnies. <laughs> okay, I need a healer and two DPS. Uh, I don't know how to work this because there's a lot of people here. I literally feel whatever. I have five nineties. Fuck off. <laughs> Everyone with like five nineties and that you pick. This is like the trust system all over again. Who do I pick? Um, all right, let's see. What do we got? Red mage, sage. Mark it's Marcus. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck you were. It looked like a book. And well, okay. I didn't take velvet last time we went to the last one, so we'll take velvet. Um So now we just need the two DPS. Uh who was it that came with us for the last one? I think it was Jealousies, Redfish, Kaz? So... No, wait. No, I don't think. Okay, no, no, we had Sebastian last time, that's right. Oh yeah, we had CV! Because CV was right next to me. I was like, wait, what the fuck? 
Um, okay. Well. It's, uh, Sebastian's gone. What the fuck? Okay. Um, well, I guess we'll take, uh, we'll take Beanie and Seiji then, since they haven't been long. Oh, wait, no, we didn't take Red. Fuck. All right, we've got a we've got a trial after anyway. We've got a trial after anyway, so you guys will be able to jump in that one and make life easier. Um, okay, this is fine. Uh, let me quickly uh, drop by uh, Charlene. Whom? <laughs> what for? You ask. Uh, well, you see, how this has been working is. We've, uh, we've been finding a bun, like a Viera, that has really good thighs, doting on them for good luck, and then we've been continuing. we got to make sure that we have some good luck for our battles to come. Going to quickly buy some toes, that's okay. Wait, there's, there's no one here. Hey there. I'm gonna grab a drink as well. I'll be right back. Okay, there they all are. They've all loaded in. Okay. Um, it's this one again. And correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, I played Final Fantasy XIV long enough, and Noon is basically a lead lead of, of a of sort of a what do they call them? Group of Makote, but they're the breeder, the main breeders. Am I incorrect on this, or... Uh, wait, this person's name is Zayla Aura. Wow. Okay. Well, okay. That, um... Brings up some rather questionable things, but, you know, whatever. Each to their own. Who am I to, uh... Who am I to, um... Break the cycle. <laughs> we'll be up survivor. Okay, we've got. I'm not gonna lie, eh, I I like this one more. This one's getting the dirt. There we go. There we go. All right, we've got the bun energy we need. Wait, this one's pretty good too. This one, this one, damn. 
So I'm gonna have a dirt too. Okay, we've got Is that all the buns. Okay, we've got all the bun energy we need. Let's uh, let's do this. Let's do this. We're prepared. And let's do this. So you are finally here. In this place between death and rebirth. Where life knows no dawn. Come then. Follow me down into the darkest depths of despair. This is such a different entrance to a dungeon, which is cool. the music on oh fuck uh, ow there was a beautiful blue star that fell to pestilence dude that stuff actually damages what the fuck it's all right i'm a warrior i can self-heal so it's fine the more its people clung to life the more they Look at all the damage, damn. Warrior is just fucking beasty. How can you be upset by Warrior ever? Oh, the shield. Remember my rule of thumb, if you pulled off me, I will not grab the aggro. <laughs> so you're gonna have to drag. It's always been my fucking rule of thumb. If you pull aggro off me, be fucking bad. I'll pop it. I wasn't going to, but it's only a 25 second cooldown. Long forgotten seashell. This world is not the boundless paradise we were promised. Our population quick, quickly outstripped and the habitable land. While sea 
seas we thought would shine forever blue ran dry spoiled in uh, forging the tools of conquest cramped homes turned to squalor and then came the sickness our undoing and the final blessings this star has to offer we are no longer the fools we once were wheresoever life goes death will follow indeed existence is but the only uh, the most painful path onto nothingness and these uh, the wise embrace they're obliterated wholeheartedly if the if the tank uh off tank does it then that's fine Oh shit. Oh shit. I was going to say, I'm probably meant to stack with you guys, but oh well. It's fine. And I still made it. It's fine. Check it off. Okay, they're not. All right. I know why I ran straight in the guts of that. And the very last of them wished they had never yes, please. At all. I'll take that. Bring my eye level up. Oh, what the fuck? In a faraway place, a brilliant star eradicated disease. Before destroying the self-same lives to save.
I'll, I'll be honest, I have no fucking idea what's going on, but holy shit. There's so much going on, and it looks fucking cool as hell. I would read these but it's like I keep I think I missed two already so it's fine I want to I'll read them in my own time because I'm pretty sure you can explore these dungeons um as well might have fucked up there. I might have fucked up there. I wasn't sure what was about to happen. No, that didn't cut me. Uh, that's not good. Seiji, can you get... Okay, cool. Hey, go on. Welcome to the stream. And yeah, you probably came with us, like it's right. Hope you're having a great day, by the way.
Dude, that was actually a really fun fight. Not gonna lie. That was cool. And when one asked, what is the point? My breakfast run became an excellent shopping run. Ugh. Um Holy hell. This place is amazing. Holy fuck. Father still existed a star without strife. Where none remembered life's trials or its joys. I'm trying to figure out which one's fucking enemies and which ones are not. Don't want to have to grab that chest. Dude, they just made Warrior an AoE fucking champion. I'm sure Paladin's the same too with its um what's it called combo? What its people have gained from ease. They lost. But I know Paladin can actually do range too. Why is that one butterfly not? Okay. I can't believe how much AoE I can get out. Final battle. I don't think it's not ugly as fuck at all. Something makes me think that it has a relationship with uh, Mation. I, I had this thought, what if they sent these birds to another land and people thought they were a god and worshipped them? So they 
created the kindest, most gentle of beasts. But I don't think that's the case. So I'll never go over this fucking uh, end boss theme. It's so fucking good. Fuck that actually hit me. Definitely a fun dungeon for sure. How did we get out of it? Healing necklace, really? Okay. All right. Now towards the final trial, unless the game is gonna like throw me a twist and say, nah, there's no actual final trial, but there's no way. Zaylin, thank you for the follow, welcome to the stream. That you still stand. Your determination defies all reason. Nothing does. The souls within me writhe and recoil in your presence. What must I do? What pain must I visit upon you to make you surrender to despair? 
He can't. I'm the warrior of happiness. No one is unbreakable. What pains one may weather may bring another to tears. But therein lies our strength. For when we fall, our brothers and sisters are there to raise us up again and again without end. I see. But no matter how much hope exists, ever will there be more to say. Ever will the living pass the present and the past the future. So shall she sing into the light ceases to be. The giant goop crystal. Man, Garuda really took on the emo look, goth look. Where's her body? It's just heads on wings. Well then. Don't please. Don't do this to them. To yourself. Just one good strike. Stop! Please stop. We will not suffer alone.
You gifted them escape. And rendered yourself powerless. But I'm never powerless. I'm a warrior. Nice to meet you, big bird. The synergy you claim is your strength. Unless you need to call upon the dead once more. No, I got an axe on my back. That's all I need to call upon. I'll clip your wings real well. Some would say I'm a beautician. Defiant to the last. But you will be one with us ere long. You will be battered and torn and made to crawl. You will weep and wail and curse your impotence. Curse your life as it fades. Bitch, please. As we did. As we died. Such pain and sorrow we felt. Such anguish and rage. We tried. We tried. I know rage. It was no use. I know rage very well as a warrior, and I will be using it. Only when we surrendered did we find release. Only when we embraced death. So join us in despair and embrace yours. You're not getting a 12 hour stream. Once I finish the story, I'm going to bed. My ultimatum. What is happening? Why is Shinri? No. Why is the end of everything? I find you, my friend. Fuck off, I saw dude. Something in you once, as you did in me. Can I get a fucking uh, restraining order on this motherfucker? When at last I understood what it was, I journeyed to Shalian to seek you out. Struck a bargain with the woman who shares your gift. In exchange for lending the Scions my aid, I was given the means to come hither. Gorging upon what remained of the Mother Crystal, I reclaimed the form of the dragon. And, hungry still for our reunion, I rode the light of the stars to you. I take it this is your prey. But why does it still live? Surely it is no match for you. I assumed you would be above something so banal as despair. Am I mistaken? I don't want your help. If it's come to, I won't save you. I don't want your help. <sighs> and I'd rather not give it. Nay, I would have preferred that we enjoy a private reunion. So come! Let us dispense with this distraction, you and I! Oblivion. 
Final day, now accessible. All right. Time to get rid of bad bitch. Er, who haven't we got in the party yet? Invite the party. Uh, Mitra, are you coming? Okay. Are you coming? I invited you. Okay. I don't know if we have anyone else to fill any other spots. We've got seven people. We got one more spot left. Um looks like two tanks, two heels. So we're missing one DPS. One DPS. But I think everyone's in the party. Um, apart from Eve, and I think Eve might be busy at the moment. Alright. That's fine. We'll just find some random. Photo after we kill after the fight? Sure. Yeah, I know, Haruti. Alright, I can already see arena wide attacks here. Um Alright, let's do this. Our hunt ends this day. There is no way you can flee that we cannot follow. Even Sarv must die. That got me as all, well, damn it. Okay, in and out, got it.
Ow, my face. Oh, now I'm done. We have seen the end. That was kind of cool. I, I see. I had a really bad feeling about being on this side. Got my no sign. I think that's inside safe and then outside yeah. She's not gonna do the inside yet, yeah. okay. We have seen the end. Oh shit, no 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 no, wrong side. I misjudged that. I thought the fast one was the one that was next to me. Uh, 
Tankbuster on me. Perfect. Ah, oh, fuck, I wasn't even watching that. Whoops. Even stars must die. Fuck. Okay. Oh, I made it just out of that. Damn. I put by that fuck. Okay. Uh, I might have to pop that. I don't know what that thing is. I should just keep it in the middle. I'm gonna move it to the middle. Should be good enough, I think. What is going on? Your time has come. Why did you waste us? Thank <laughs> you. 
I guess that explains why Velva jumped off the cliff. I couldn't figure out why he did it. But it must have survived everyone at, at full. We will stand against fate. No matter the cost. We've been here before. Many a time. Thus do we know. To never give up. I'm just waiting for Island Sanctuaries. <laughs> I can't hit. I should have moved. That was my fault. Yeah, it's a shame World of Warcraft doesn't know how to hit with music like this. Maybe they would have, uh, the only thing they know how to hit is, um, the women's asses in the office and how to get that breast milk out of that fucking milk fridge. I finally get to finish it. Uh, screenshot, guys. Line up. Line up. Screenshot. Get in, pose, do your pose, however you want. Uh, wait, why did my character not do the pose that I wanted him to? Wait, can't I pause individually? I can't remember how to do all this. Let's turn that off. Um. No, that's not on it. Isn't that? I thought there was a way to pause each person individually. 
Ah, there we go. There we go. What is that? Uh, number two. Okay. Did I get it? It keeps flipping my thing around. Am I going to have to animate you? All right. I can't do it. Uh, guess you that's what you pose with. That's what you're stuck with. This is the other person, isn't it? How do I... I had this behind us all. That's the only problem. Damn it. Sadie, why did you pick the one move that is, like, literally impossible to fucking... Everyone else has these cool poses except you two <laughs> and uh, um, the extra behind us. Yeah, I have to reset it. Okay. All right. All right. Um, didn't move up in the line. Uh, Okay. Uh, Sagey, make sure you do an action uh, and beanie as well. Uh, and I'm going to G pose. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. Turn off effects. Why is yours not posing now? There we go. I think we like that one. You're gonna be on the outside. I gotta make sure I get the screenshot, guys. What did what? Okay, uh, what action were you just doing? Hmm. 
such a hard pose to deal with. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. All right. All right. The end. I I totally forgot to use the commission uh commendation. All right, the final, the end, this is it. Alan, thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream, by the way. No matter where we flew, there was only darkness, and loneliness, and pain. We couldn't find the answers Hermes yearned for. The answers he deserved. Greetings, you who are my final encounter. I wish to hear your words, share your feelings, know your thoughts. May we please be friends? I can see them. The memories of a long, long journey. So many people. The thoughts of them overflowing in your heart. What they live for. What gives their lives meaning. There was never a single answer. You gather pieces of happiness, precious and fragile, only to lose them. Then start again. On and on it goes, until death takes you into its gentle embrace. which Hermes sent us to find was there all this time on a theris it wasn't always there we created it together like a field of flowers perhaps at first a single blossom it spreads and takes on more colors. 
Thank you for guiding me here. To find these words at journey's end fills me with joy. And so, before I fall forever silent from this, there is one thing I must do. No expression of regret will undo what my sisters and I have done, or restore what we have stolen. But if you would allow it, I would sing one last song. A song of the newfound joy that swells in my heart. Of the beauty of light when it shines across a dark and starless sea. Of a dream that from the soil of worlds now lost to sorrow, life will spring forth once more. Nourished by gentle rains and caressed by uplifting winds. A song of hope. One day, life will fill the universe again, and Hermes will see this and smile. How, I do not know. But I do know that, where there is a will, there is a way. After all, miracles happen every day. Do they not? a path back to your ship, where your dear friends await. Hold in your heart your desire to return to them, then follow my lead and walk forth. That hope will surely guide you true. You mean to return to the world where you are hailed as a hero. Yep. I'll leave you here in the void. Hear me then. Not as a hero, but as simply you. As I learned in Alamigo, you are a formidable foe. Stronger than any I have faced. Against you, I need bring my all to bear. I need burn through the candle of my life. This is the sole pleasure I know. And it is the sole pleasure I have to share.
And so I come before you to issue challenge and offer singular bliss. If you wish to walk away, I will not stop you. You value life. You do not burn yours save for reasons you deem worthy. Reasons such as those which brought you here. The salvation of a world and its people. The motives of a hero true. But there is more to you than that. You know this to be true. As surely as you know the thrill of pushing your body and soul to their limits. Of confronting ever mightier foes, dancing ever closer to the precipice. Wondering if this will be the one to finally, finally fill the void. Such pleasures you seek for their own sake and no other reason is this not so adventurer that i can't deny to think what you will but i'm not letting you leave this place i've had enough of you it ends here Hey, I wanted you dead long ago. I just wish you had died. Try and strike me down in this forsaken place. I shall return the favor. I, let us indulge in the only worthwhile pursuit and burn our lives to their end. I guess I gotta end this band. Time to kick this motherfucker's ass. Alright. Just so you know, Xenos, I have unlimited healing. Works. Frostbolt, thank you for the pillow. Welcome to the stream. Don't tell me what you're going to do during battle, Xenos. I don't care. Fortitude. 
Oh, look at all that damage you did to me that I'm just going to heal up anyway. I oh know, my health, what will I ever do? Venus, dude, I, I don't know what to tell you, but you're pretty much fucked. Fuck shit. I still have one HP and I'm a warrior, so good luck. Do not tell me your life's fire is already spent. No, I just need to hit this button and I, I would be healed, but for some reason the game won't let me. Yes, yes, rise once more. It mustn't end yet. Okay. A test of your reflexes. I have you. Do you? Get it quicker than that. Of your 
Aiden. Come on, Zenith, you're all fucking talk, and here I am beating your ass like it's nothing. What a fucking surprise. Ah, oh, jeez, come on, dude. him again. Punch him again. Punch him right in the dick. Ken, thank you. <laughs> what a time to raid in. Ken, thank you for the raid and welcome in to the stream. <laughs> How was your stream? How are you going? Punch his ball, exactly. Punch him right in the dick. Crutch punch. You get fucked. How'd you stream? Punch his big toe, just kick him in the shins. It was good. I did the new raids. Damn, um, I still I'm so far off them still in a way. Okay, let's cut his head off and make sure he never comes back again. Quick, decapitate him now. Again. Decapitate him now because you know he'll come back. Make sure he doesn't come back for 7.0 because I will be very pissed off. <laughs> How disappointing.
understood those around me, understood their obsessions. I think the same could be said for you. Was this life a gift or a burden? Did you find fulfillment? I sure fucking hope so. Suck shit, Zenas. Fucking loser. Zenos has got a yeah I know fucking crab rave he's finally fucking gone holy shit if he comes back and I'll play their expansion I quit ah oh, yes I survived by the mere I had to ejaculate in my own face to survive and now I'm back in 7.0 so I can be in fucking annoyance again for another four expansions Please. Someone can. Please. <laughs> you can't leave us. Not like this. I'll never forgive you. Oh, come on. Open your eyes and get up.
Are you... Are you with us? We made it. Oh, we did it. Thank the heavens. For a moment, we thought. Is everyone all right? After what you've done, you're the last person <laughs> to be asking that. <laughs> you. How can you keep your promise if you're not here? Another fine show you've put on, my friend. A fine show indeed. What were you thinking, fighting alone? Never do that again. My poor heart couldn't bear it. Put yourself in our place. If you hadn't returned, how do you think we would feel? And if that sounds harsh, it's because we care. We tended to thy wounds as best we could. But how is the pain? That is glad me. Grievous as thine injuries were, however, I would counsel repose for a time. Gladdeny! There's nothing gladdening about this! When Meteon appeared in here and told us that you were right behind her, we all got our hopes up. But you never came! And when you finally deign to appear, you're within an ilm of your life! Damn you! Damn you for making us worry! Sorry, I had to kill Zena, so I had to make sure he wouldn't show up for 7.0. It was a, a arduous task, but hey, he's gone. our return at once <laughs> I hope you're ready <laughs> while you were unconscious we set out from Ultima Thule you see can you stand if so you may wish to see what's outside I hope so too, now that we have a spaceship. I really want there to be more space adventures. Hey Armin, how you going? So now the stars fix Phil in his solar reader. <laughs>
Starvation collab would be fucking amazing. Aaronville. Hmm. It is. It's the Ragnarok. They're back. Thank heavens. Truly. Welcome home. Yes. I'm sure they can build up another threat. That's probably the magic about it all. Oh, this obviously took like several expansions, but goddamn. And now that we have like the idea of there's other shards out there we can still go to, other planets, we have quite a bit of like options that can still happen. And we still have quite a bit of AOS or uh, Ethereus to explore. Like we um we got given all these ideas of places to go, but yeah. Void still exists as well. Um like I said, there's other planets out there which they've made very clear that they're gonna uh they're out there and there's pop like population stuff like that on them, so we might end up going to them. Which I'm fucking excited if we do. If we end up going to other planets, holy shit. Um, the other shards, which are exciting as well. I mean, the first was amazing. So if we get anything like that. And the great thing about like new planets and shards is that we have, they have much more freedom to make different atmospheres altogether. Some of the problems that I found with stuff like Stormblood is that, yeah, we were excited about going to Alamigo and stuff like that. Or Doma. Like, I love Doma the most probably in Stormblood because it was like a whole new sort of region. But it was still very samey of our own planet. Whereas like, if they um, if they have a new planet, they can do anything. That last dungeon was such a like, an eye-opener to what they can bring into the game.
like all those different places and you know what they could do with it Like, I'd love to see some of the other shards that are there that we can access eventually, hopefully. Or some of the other planets. Um, or, you know, like, uh, like Emmett said about those places that, you know, have you seen these places? I think we'll end up going and looking at them, hopefully. It'd be cool. Have you wanted to go to the, um, the dragon planet and ever since Midgard Summer? I think those planets might be already dead though. That's the problem. The ones that we saw like um, on, uh, what's it called? Uh, Ultima Thule. I'm pretty sure those are already dead stuff. Yes, I am. Omicron may still exist. Omega was one of them. Uh, no. It's dead. One sec. But who knows, we might um, go there with the dragons to maybe revive the whole freaking star. I I don't think the star is um, revivable in the state it was. Plus, I'm pretty sure what we saw was basically fragments of what it was. I don't think there is a, anything left of it whatsoever. I mean, I can skip the credits. It's just the credits as far as I'm aware of. If I skip this, it should go straight into the um, next cutscene. I was just taking the time to chat. Yeah, Gotta make sure you have that photo. Dearest mother, dearest father, this letter will be the very last that I write to you from the Rising Stones.
as I commit these words to parchment, I fondly recall my journey as a scion. From the time I first walked into the Order's former halls, to the time I set forth to forestall the final days. At the farthest reaches of the Sea of Stars, we fought the battle of our lives. Fought against despair itself, a veritable maelstrom of it, fed by the resignation that dwelled in the hearts of beings not so unlike ourselves. Full oft have I harbored the same malaise, have I been brought to my knees, crushed by the weight of sorrow and defeat, convinced that I will never rise again. However, I have also known many moments of unbridled joy and happiness. By this truth do I find hope within, blooming resplendent like the Elpis flower. And thus do I endure. Do I look forward to creating more memories with my friends and loved ones? For from these fertile seeds, yet more hope shall spring forth. And they will grow to become shining lights that illuminate the dark. Thus believing, I leave the rising stones behind, as will my comrades. For, as we have decided, after careful deliberation, we are disbanding the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Alrighty then. There you are, Alphano. Everyone is already gathered in the foyer. My apologies. I'll be right there. At least, that is what the story will be. Sorry to keep you all waiting. What could you possibly have left to do now? Oh, just a letter. I imagine it will be a while before we can gather like this again. So it must be, if we're to keep up appearances. From now on, it falls to the Grand Company of Eorzea and its allies to deal with the realm's crises. Meanwhile, we shall return to our erstwhile ways. Retreating from plain sight to take our place in the shadow once more. Indeed. For the foreseeable future, I expect that we must work independently as we seek out problems that want for solving. 
But a day will come when we face another great challenge, and we will face it together, as we always have. As much as I look forward to that day, I do hope it doesn't come any time soon. Well, formal association or no, if any of you should require my services, you need but ask. Uh, he wants to help us. I'll hold you to that. So you had better keep your link pearl on hand. So you really mean to stay, Tatari? Oh, someone has to keep the Rising Stones in proper order. And even a super-secret organization requires a super-secret base of operations. To the rest of the world, it will be naught more than a workshop for Eorzea's foremost up-and-coming artisan. If you thought our coffers were full to bursting before, just wait till I can devote myself wholly to the crafts. Deal. Yeah. Oh no. Plotting to build a mercantile empire to rival that of Lord Lodorito, are we? <laughs> I, for one, look forward to your future successes, Tataru. As do I on next meeting. Our capitalism. And with that, I believe it is past time you all made ready to depart. Leave no preparations undone or words unsaid, all right? Now, off with you. Oh, they haven't loaded in yet. I was like, wait, there's no one here. Okay, that, oh, that has spoken with our comrades. Though this parting it be not forevermore, it's nonetheless occasion for sorrow akin to a pixie's path, and navigation of such farewells is a perilous endeavour, indeed. For their part, however, the Lopperts embark upon a new beginning. Though bereft of its uh, purpose as a vessel, the moon yet remaineth hospitable for creatures of theirs. Thus do our lunar visitors convene with the forum intent upon assigning some new beneficial roles to a solitary satellite. What are they going to do with the moon? Yet, yeah, uh, they uh, that may come to pass, uh, there is much more each party must learn for the others of the others. A process which doth premise to be eventful indeed. To that end, I had a of Flufferitz hath gleefully dispersed across the lands in the name of mutual understanding. Island Tis said did imbue them with her love for all things born of the star, and Tis Vernat's own nature, I believe, which doth manifest in the irrepressible, inexhaustible curious curiosity of theirs. I I'm too tired to be speaking his speak. Having witnessed that which they stove to achieve, archi achieve, was this to archive, I uh, wish most keenly for their long labors to be rewarded, that their abiding affection for man result uh, in a boon for all. Moreover, I hope to continue our acquaintance and share in such knowledge as they see fit and too important.
acquaintance, I'd call it friendship. Funny how around she is pushing you into your limits harder than Xenos. <laughs> I did not wish to presume. I, if I had been doing Xenos right now, I probably would have just fucking slaughtered him. And fucking... Fucking Brad's silly. Hi, I would be honored should they consider me a friend. But it is certainly uh, true that I have grown fond of their company. Ah, but I shall discuss no further. This day should belong to the Science of the Seven Dawn, to mine and com uh, comparable companions. Oft times hath mine uh, reticene caused the grief and mine actions spurred allies to suspect betrayal, and yet here amongst you I stand. No amount of words could express my gratitude for thine acceptance and forgiveness. This instead, I do uh, uh, proper my humble spot. Be it unto the deepest abyss or the highest heavens, even if I must needs, found across stormy seas, ever shall I answer thy summons. Okay, just seeing to your preparations, have you? I'm just making another sweep of my belongings. Wouldn't do to find I've forgotten something halfway to my destination. Oh, and in case you haven't heard, we've received new reports dealing the devastation caused to the final dealing detailing the devastation caused by the final days. It appears the situation is gravest in the land surrounding the bounty, where the sky first began to burn. After that, the calamity was observed in far north, in Garlemald, and the frozen lands beyond. We also had reports of the heavens catching fire in isolated uh, location, locations. One of which was an area in the northern empty. Had our quest taken any longer, Shalian too might have come under threat. Thank goodness it's over now. To be sure, blasphemies and lesser beasts may still be roaming around, about, uh, but these localized uh, crises should be uh, well within capability capacities of each nation to handle on their own. The science are no longer needed, which isn't to say that we won't help out when we can, where we can, of course. As individuals, no more of this order business. Um, for my part, I'll be heading to Gullamold with the Alpha Nude. They were among the worst affected and still need all the help they can get. It won't be easy. An inevitable part of aiding those in need is coming face to face with tragedy. Knowing it doesn't make it any easier. Though I'll curse my weakness, my inability to fix every problem and save every lost soul. But no matter how much it hurts, I won't give up. I'll do what I can for as many people as I can, begrudgingly, uh, begrudging no effort. Should I find myself discouraged? I'll remember you. Think back fondly to one of your many moments of triumph and the accompanying determined expression. Even those that still uh, annoy me in retrospect, like when you activated the teleporter without warning. And should you hear about me, I want you to remember too. Remember that I'm out there somewhere trying my very best. I'll look forward to hearing about uh, all about the legendary Alice Lafia. Not that I'm trying to become famous or anything, but that that being said,
The next time we meet, it'll be uh, I'll be vastly improved. So don't be surprised when you find yourself uh, marveling at me. Be right back one sec. I should finish off as much as I want to get through these. Ugh. It's like almost 7 a.m. Not gonna lie, I have to. I don't have to get up at all today, but I do have to get up early tomorrow. I know. Trust me, I know. But I should stop. This part is just chatting to them, so I think I can do this part off stream. I think it should be fine. I don't know. I do need to sleep though. There's a cutscene after. All I'll say. It, it's fine. I, if not, I'll hold off until Sunday. If I can't, then I will never unlock anything. Okay, I'll work it out. But I need to sleep. Like I said, it's 7 a.m. And it's I've been streaming for nine hours. Uh, let's see. Let me turn this off and uh, jump over to the screen. Yeah, I did. I didn't make it to where exactly I wanted to be, like at the end end, but I did it eventually. I still push through as much as I thought I could. Um. Hmm. I'm just looking at who's online right now. Be mellow online. And be Cotton, but Cotton's doing pandemonium. Damn it. I guess we're going mellow again. Because Mellow's only doing. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's just leveling, I think. He's just leveling all the classes. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for the follow, subs, donations, host raids, videos, and for being here in general, guys. Rosary, thank you for the follow and welcome the stream. I'm tired. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dead. But seriously. I'm not I'm not fucking dying. Um please stick around for the read if you could. And oh, okay. Guess I'll just no, you know what? Fuck you. You don't get your fucking jazz cast. Anyway. Thank you for being around for the followers. Uh, thank you for the followers, subs, donations, host rates, videos, and for being here in the channel, guys.
Akashi, thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it so much. Those who received a gifted sub, please be sure to thank Akashi and welcome to the Cookie Crusade. Hope you enjoy your emotes and your cookie batch, and thank you for joining the fight. Akashi, thank you again. Uh, I'm, I, I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, anyway. Uh, if you guys could stick around and show Mellow some love, I'd appreciate that. Uh, and I will be back on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, guys, we'll be doing some Phasmophobia, so I will see you then. Okay? We'll do some ghost hunting. Something a bit different. Something a bit different. Oh. Yes, please, once again, go check out Aya. Uh, she is part of the stream team. Got some love. You guys should already be following her. If not, you're dead to me. You're dead to me. If you're not following Aya, I'll do what I did to Xenos to you. Anyway, <laughs> I'm kidding, but do go for a while, as well as Mellow, who we're going over to see. Anyway, it's time for me to get some sleep, because I'm fucked. Alright guys, take care, stick around for the raid, show some love. Um, I will see you on Christmas Eve for some uh, ghost hunting and drinks. We'll relax and we'll enjoy it. Uh, anyway, thank you guys, take care, and I'll see you next time. Laters.